Let's do this. Boop. We've done this already. Hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, How you yeah. doing? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Surprise. Hello, uh, hello. Welcome to a very special very episode of Vert. <laughs> uh, so, yes. yeah, peace. Uh, yeah, this is a very special episode of uh, our Vert stream. Normally, we'd be playing an ongoing campaign, but today we've turned time back and sidestepped into an alternate dimension. So we're playing with some of the characters that we've normally played with with uh, uh, the uh, Boomers, but we're playing uh, a module, a written module, called They Keep to the Borderlands. Ooh. Some of you uh, cats and kittens that uh, were in on the uh, Kickstarter may have seen that, and it may be available soon in other forms. Uh, but today is not just a lark. Uh, there's a good cause behind it, and I'll let Alex explain uh, what we're doing next. Yep, uh, uh, with uh, Raven Dust Games, uh, which uh, Pete is uh, absolutely a part, um, and the other uh, people uh, joining us today, which have been, you know, a huge part of uh, Raven Dust since the get-go, uh, we are uh, totally, totally happy to be supporting. Uh, I'm going to say this perhaps incorrectly, but Isolacon, uh, and um, I S O A. Uh, I S O L A C O N, uh, and uh, yes, this is a, a charity um, uh, convention um, for a really good cause. It's for the RPG Creators Relief Fund. Um, uh, again, uh, there's going to be information um, uh, that that will be posted here, um, but it's a uh, you know it's a wonderful cause. Uh, this is a great uh, convention, um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely personally happy to be a, a player on this as well and especially for hey for uh, i get a chance kind of to kill everybody yay <laughs> oh. but, but pete you can't kill us because it's the past well i can kill you because it has no ramifications on anything whatsoever <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Not, not that i'm going to try to i don't want to i just i just like to rib alex <laughs> alex ppk'd a party we were in once and we never stopped ribbing him for it because it keeps hitting the button He's not that bad, yeah. but you like to press the button. So yeah, it, it's good stuff. Yeah, I'm often, or I, I, you know, a lot of the time, especially for Vert, I am uh, I, I, I'm running the games, not a player. So um, yeah, Pete is uh, has a lot of uh, sounds like a lot of pent up uh, rage here that's going to be coming in all of our directions. <laughs> I'm sorry, fellow players, uh, but um, again, I'm super happy to be a player this time. So, and I know I know uh, Pete can do it. So. I'm definitely excited. And I also, I do not know uh, this module, even though we published it. I have to give full disclosure. Um, I was part of the original edit, and then it went through layout, and then it went through this and that, and there were other wonderful people involved. So the final product, while I know that it's pretty and it's wonderful and people liked it, I actually, I have not, I, I'm not aware of the spoilers. So uh, that's why I'm able to play today. Um, and we're going to be playing a slightly truncated version of it. I'm going to 
there's a, an investigation section that uh, I'm going to cut down some of the plot points just to get it to try and fit into one session or maybe two. So uh, we'll see what happens. So sit black, uh, have yourself a, a glass of fetish, and uh, let's get going. So first, we're going to start out. Uh, I am your game cat for the evening. Um, so I don't have a character, but these other characters have characters. So let's start out uh, with your uh, magic sentence and a little bit of a physical description of who you are and what you do in this group. And we'll start with Rob. All right. Um, I'm playing uh, a younger, still really handsome Oedipus Jones, uh, Robo Dogman speaker who tops gears. Uh, I'm a getaway driver slash uh, amazingly good looking individual, uh, charismatic, modest, uh, that just describes my character to a T. All right, Alex. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, I, I'm going to be we didn't playing get a physical description, Oedipus. I'm sorry. Yes. Good call. Like. Good call. A physical description. Um, red tracky, extremely attractive Robo Dogman, uh, white silver fur, uh, silver or electronic sunglasses with glow behind the. Uh, lenses because it looks cool. It's slightly distracting, but sometimes you just have to commit to looking really good. <laughs> are, are you enough of a dog that anyone would recognize any specific breed or is just uh, I, I, I am, except I completely blanked on the breed. It was kind of an obscure one. It's I'm gonna come like back to you on that cool... one. Starts with an A. It's like a white dog if... with like kind of uh, Now I'm gonna look it up um, and let's see how fast No. Yes. No, it's a, uh, no. Okay. Yeah, good. A Kubaz. Oh, so ah. it's 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 a beautiful dog. I'm not gonna throw images into the stream or anything, but uh, I am. Uh, I'm 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 quite I'm some I'm something. That's what I am. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right, nice. Alex. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be uh, playing. Um, oh, my name is uh, Alexander Lepera, um, uh, and I'm gonna be playing Dougie Arkanoid. And he is a Vertman explorer who tracks marks. Um, and uh, Dougie Arkanoid, um, well, uh, he's one of the founders of the Boomers, uh, even though, you know, he's, you know, it's a new gang uh, and everything. So he has uh, his trackies, uh, not the blue that I'm wearing today, uh, but he's got the red, you know, the real red boomer, uh, you know, Northport boomer with the three stripes. Um, it's got a uh, thunder. Yeah, Thunderbirds are go uh, retro t shirt underneath. Uh, he's got a napalm filter sticking out of one mouth, uh, or one side of his mouth. Um, and uh, as a vert man, he looks human. Um, and as far as everybody else is concerned, he is human. So uh yeah he's a pure human as far as everybody knows but um sometimes his eyes glisten a little yellow and that's how you know all right uh char you're up next hey i am smoke a shadow man explorer who controls verb blurbs <laughs> i control verbs <laughs> not very well not very well <laughs> I can feel <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, I'm like, um, I'm always covered in like shadow that kind of looks like smoke as where I got my name because I'm real creative. Um, <laughs> it's usually kind of like trailing out of my eyes. Um, and then, but when I get angry or, um, I'm hiding like this this whole cloud just pours out and just covers me um i'm also wearing a red trackie because i'm a boomer forever um uh but it's cross it's crisscrossed with like like all kinds of straps and bandoliers and stuff and i've got all kinds of tools on it and toolkits and pockets and pouches you know i look like rob liefeld drew me um, with how many pouches I've got. Oh God, what happened to your feet? Do you have tiny little feet? No, yes. no they're just covered in smoke. Pecs. My feet uh, are just covered yeah. in smoke. Huge, huge now. biceps. Just... Yeah, my biceps are amazing. Um, I've got, uh, but I'm here too, so I've got two blurb flies right now. Um, my 
my best and most beloved one, Spaz. Um, he's got a little camera, and I, I don't think he has his bomb carrier yet. <laughs> so he's just my little spy. No. And then, um, yeah. Oh, and bl blur flies. Uh, uh, oh, they're like little. What drones. do blur flies look like? Sorry, sorry to jump in on that. Yeah, they're, they're like, like little, little insect, biomechanical uh, biomechanical uh, drones. They can be outfitted with all, all kinds of things. Like, um, well, Spaz currently has a camera. Um, I I stole a blurb from the TV station um, that has sonic jingles and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, they're very cool. And they like to hang out with me. Uh, that's, that's uh, Mike? Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Mike, uh, and my character is Blix, who is a robovert mathematician who hyper-processes. Um, so he is, if you had like a 6'8 robot skeleton, <sighs> made out of like white plastic, um, and then inside the rib cage it had a ball of like black trans-dimensional goo, um, that's kind of the core of Blix. Um, Except instead of having like a skull face, he's got like a blank white faceplate with like a, a holographic sticker of the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland where one of his eyes would be. Uh, and then you just you cover all that in a tracksuit just to try to keep it out of you as best as you can. And the defining characteristic of a robovert is the mayfly. Yes. Which means that you have a very limited lifespan. Yes, uh, his his... Attempt at countering that is that he has put a whole lot of effort into learning about the various vert feathers and kind of the cosmology of the vert and how it operates and math magical theory. Um, so he's like working. It's like you know my best bet to survive is to not stick here and instead get to the vert and stay there. Um, but yeah, he's he's a math magician who knows enough about math and physics to manipulate the real world around him. So. Cool. And uh, last but not least, we have Jack. Uh, I'm playing uh, Chester Millard. I'm a shadow man dog who works for the city. Uh, you know, standard standard issues, Chester uniform. I got my trackie. On top of that, I've got a duster, an old trench coat. Normally, it's, uh, got a cigarette in my mouth. He looks like a sort of a overwrought large chocolate lab smoke effects a sort of brow where his fur would be his eyes always sort of covered in the uh, shadow effects uh he's grumpy he's overly dramatic and he tends to get into trouble <laughs> point, do you still work for the city or have you stopped working for the city? uh if we're going back in time i still work for the city okay <clears throat> I didn't remember Spoilers. exactly like when the uh, when the transition when you went rogue. So no one knows but me, buddy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's everybody, and uh, we're gonna jump right in to keep on the borderline. So uh, it's a Saturday night in Manchester, and you guys are all hanging out. You guys are the boomers, well known on the streets as uh, for running the gennels and knowing what's what, not a daffy pet among you. And you always seem to have the best line or at least the best reputation on the best line for the new feathers and the new experiences. And uh, you guys like to maintain that reputation as being the cutting edge. You like the, uh, you like the notoriety, if not necessarily the recognition all the time. It's hard to work in the shadows when you're being recognized all the time. But, uh, there's a new feather in town. There's a series of feathers where uh, they've gone back. In this world, Dungeons and Dragons existed, though it was founded about 120 years ago. I think around about 100, 120 years ago. Anyway, uh, now all those old scenarios from those old games have been turned into feather experiences for people to live, people to experience. And the newest blue Gygax, which is a blue version of one of those feathers, 
uh, is supposed to be coming out. It's Blue Gygax B2. That's all you know about it so far. They haven't released any names about it. But it's supposed to be a total immersion experience of living a medieval fantasy uh, realm. But uh, word on the street is that uh, production has stopped on it. Uh, there have been some rumors about a few people who have uh, tried to take the feather and he either not been able to find it or have not come back after finding it. And no one seems to know where the uh, the Dreamweaver who wrote it is. Uh, and the Dreamweaver is actually myth missing. And uh, uh, Chester, you would know this through your contacts through the city. They, they put out an APB and he's been missing. So there's an investigation going into finding him, but also into trying to find where this feather might be. And if you guys can score the first copy of the feather and the first experience of it, you get a lot of points. But also, if you find this missing Dreamweaver, it will not only help you find the feather, but there's also some intrinsic benefits to knowing a Dreamweaver and rescuing him and having him on your good side. Yeah, especially one that owes you. Yes. What's, what's this guy's name? Uh, the Dreamweaver's name is Pathfinder. Uh -huh. That's well a crazy done. Thing. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jack, you're suddenly blurry. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. My camera's okay. being weird. He's phasing in and out. That's a tier three ability. I call BS <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> or it's blur. Isn't it blur? <laughs> nice. That's <was> perfect. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, normally there's a little more uh, investigation to it, but I'm just going to kind of railroad you guys into it a little more so that we can try and fit it into one set. So, uh, mm -hmm. you guys previously were at uh, a rover fair trying to find information, and you were told to go to the Bottle Town B and B, which is a nickname for it's a really bad joke. Uh, it's an abandoned chemical factory that has been overrun by squatters who are featherheads and pharma junkies and not the nicest people but you guys have been told that somebody there knows either the whereabouts of somebody who took the feather or they know how to find pathfinder so you guys are there's about 200 squatters of various modes sitting there and uh you guys pull up to the bottle town bnb trying to investigate and trying to find out what's up so go to town I see. Bottle Town uh, again. Uh, oh, it's always Bottle Town. Uh, do we want to describe the madness that is Bottle Town for people that are? Oh familiar? yeah. So Bottle Town uh, is one of the districts of uh, the center of Rushholm that is, or the, the center of Manchester that is. Um, uh, a long time ago, the uh, recycling collectors went on strike, so they refused to pick up the, the trash and especially the bottles, and they kept it on strike and nothing ever got fixed so they just left and the bottles continued to pile up and pile up till now it's basically a sea of glass the entire district um most people have uh they wear uh uh thicker pants when they go to bottle town and nobody goes barefoot um but there's there's drifts of broken glass like there would be snow in other towns um but uh Every once in a while, they manage to keep parts of the street clear so that you can go through. But uh, it's not the nicest part of town, but it is where a lot of people can afford to live and a lot of people uh, who make trouble go to get away from trouble. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm the driver, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope I have better tires on, our, on my fancy car. Um, I was going to say, do you have a car at this point? Oh yes, um, this is. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to get into detail because we don't want to bottle it, uh, box this down with um, continuity. But we have a sweet ass uh, Yankee style uh, muscle car yep. with a flaming skull on the hood. I guess the Yankees oh. are good for something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm hoping yeah. that we had a that, that our, our good friend Dougie or someone else had a set of tires sitting around somewhere, and we drove into the bottle town that way. Yep. Uh, yeah, Dougie sits in the front uh, because, again, he's the leader. Um, and, yeah, looks over to to Oedipus there 
and says that driving was fantastic, fantastic. You're the best driver ever, ever, ever. He's very, he's he's always thought very highly of these particular uh, group of boomers and is so happy to be your lieutenant. Uh, and I'm sure nothing will ever change and you'll never get transferred to anybody else uh, in the leadership of the boomers. Um, so I am happy together forever. And I throw out my hand in the middle. If, if anybody joining me, I mean, oh, yeah. I'm boomers forever. The car, yeah. And I Woo. like through the window and <laughs> kind of stretch over. Mm hmm. Uh, Blix, Blix is like yeah. six eight, so he's like folded in half in the back seat. Like that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Yep. T tires have been fixed. No wow. problem. No problem. Good job, man. We know you can count on you. And don't worry, your compliments will not go to my head at all. <laughs> Ever. No, I'm sure not. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so um, I, I parked very, very appropriately, accurately on a pile of glass. Mm -hmm. That's where else is there to park. And um, sure. I'm going to start looking for a friendly face or, you know, I'm, I'm going to lower my sanity. I'm going to look for a face. Any, any kind of face. <laughs> face, anyone, face. Hey, you can't be biased against the U-types here. Come on, that's not fair. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not biased against, against them being unattractive. I'm just... Assuming that they're sad and lonely and drunk and or high and poor, so <laughs> and, and have a couple of assumptions out of their face. face. <laughs> this is not where you live when you're rich, so assumptions are no. made. Well, you do see a couple yeah. people whacked out on boomers scrawl, sprawled out across the front of this place, and this isn't this isn't a townhouse or anything. This is an, an abandoned chemical factory, so yeah, there's a bit of a path through the parking lot and through the now ruined chain link fence to get up to the main door and then once you get in the main door there's a few people sitting around in the lobby that are actually coherent okay. um, i'd love to go up to one of them uh yeah i i want to um i think <clears throat> um dougie uh would look around the front there just kind of make sure wants to make sure these these wonderful boomers are, you know, forever, you know, uh, protected here. So I got to make sure, you hey, know, they're, they're my responsibility. Dougie, you got anything on you? I could use a fix. Do you, do you say that out loud? Oh, yeah. Okay. Somebody else says, hey, it's the boomers, man. Hey, how you doing? It's Dougie. Dougie, how you doing? Yeah. Man? What you got? What you got for old Brutus, man? You got something for old Brutus? Smackdown, man, that's bad. Fe feather oh. heads, feather heads. Uh, 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 Dougie's Dougie a nice a dude. He's a little crusty and he's twitching badly as he's talking. Got it. Uh, yeah. Um, you know what? If I've got it, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, uh, uh, here I got my ciphers. Um, yeah, you know what? If this guy is twitching badly, uh, I do have Boomer. Um, I do have Vaz, and I do have what was the third one I rolled? Um, uh, oh, I did roll third. Yeah, I will. Uh, so the boomer um, should go to the boomer. Should That's go right. to smoke. Um, That's right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the other is I have a mungry man self heartening dinner. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, all I got that anybody can fly on is is boomer here. Uh, okay, I'll drink like. Uh, how bad is a Robo and I'll Man? Pass it over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's he's pretty bad, and he's he's getting real close, and he's starting to like chum up on you, and just kind of, hey man, and like rub your back, and like it's okay, man. You can give me whatever you got, man. Well, uh, I'm gonna use two ciphers within 15 seconds because that's the way you do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use my Vaz. Uh, and as I do, because I guess this is a trick, I uh, hope all of my younger boomers have learned, I, I take the vas out, it's a level two, uh, and I spread it all over my shoulders and everywhere, so if he wants to get close to me, he's not getting too close. I want to go slippery in here. Okay. So, 
Well, good. I was going to make you roll for it, but since you since you start putting the vase on it, he tries to pickpocket you. But especially with the vase, it is, and, and because he's super twitchy, it's it's yeah. extremely difficult for him. But it's obvious, and he just he doesn't even he doesn't even have any shame about it. Just like, oh man, you got me. <laughs> Y'all smart and old Brutus. That's the way it goes, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get up out of here. Anyway. <laughs> hey, you want, yeah, I saved you some. And I, I tossed the bottle at him. Oh, at him or to him? I mean, depends on how good his coordination is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to spill it on purpose, so it's like one of those, like, as opposed yeah. to, like, <laughs> Well, because, yeah. because he's kind of shaking everything, give me give me a, a speed test at, uh... Yeah, just give me a speed test at a demanding. Sixteen. <laughs> okay, you manage it to toss it perfectly off his chest and he catches it into his hand. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Oh, thanks. thanks a lot. And he drinks the boomer. Um, is there it. anything? <sighs> yep. Go ahead. I, I I was gonna ask if he's walking around. Is there anybody else there that's? Um, that looks dangerous. Again, I want to make sure that I'm happy to kind of keep watch out here and, and let the rest. Um, but well, uh, none of them look none of them look dangerous. Some of them look desperate, but none of them look no dangerous. There's okay. No, there's nobody okay. like there's nobody flipping their weapons. A few of them are just just passed the fuck out. Okay, got it. Perfect. Okay, cool. Then I'll follow. I'll follow the rest of y'all. But yeah. there is you there is one. Doing. There is one Robo Dog man up front who kind of, it kind of wakes up a little bit, got kind of a bulldogish face, uh, mm. and uh, the the chops kind of settle over the, his uh, mechanical neck that goes into the uh, leather jacket he's wearing underneath, and he sees you guys come in, and just kind of waits like, hey, hey, who, who are you? Are you cops? You gotta tell me if you're cops. Do we look like cops, buddy? <laughs> That guy looks like a cop. <laughs> this grumpy, this grumpy guy. Yeah. Uh, just like going out of his way, sort of hiding Listen, in his trench coat. Didn't you hear that guy say we're boomers? <laughs> fucking hate bomb. Fucking you know hate bomb. We are. Now. Fucking hate it. You've seen this before, right? You know the cops don't show up wearing this kind of thing. Uh, this means yeah. something. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess you're all right. All right, come on in. You, you you looking for somebody? Yes. Yes, we are. And Pathfinder. Looking We're looking for Pathfinder. If you can help That's us find one. Pathfinder, oh, Pathfinder, there's a reward in it for you. Yeah. I don't. I don't know anybody. I don't know Pathfinder. Oh. Hey, hey, Marcus, Marcus, you know anybody who knows Pathfinder? And you hear from the back a very garbled, robotic voice. Penny, Penny, third floor. Yeah, Mari says you guys find Penny up on the third floor. She she might know something. Nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I have some quid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss it. I'm gonna keep it real sly, you know, keep it slick. But, but I'm gonna give this guy just a little something so he can get his next fix there. That was, oh. that was spot on. Thanks, mate. Spot on. <laughs> Third I'm floor. It, I'm gonna call a Dougie uh, expense account from now on because otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Forever, forever, my boomers will be together forever, and I'll be paying the bills forever. No worries. That's amazing. <laughs> and like you know, uh, we got your back, man. If you ever disappear, we'll track you down right away. <laughs> oh, that hurts because you guys didn't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's still a footnote with a ellipses after it. Anyway, <laughs> but right now <laughs> we're together. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting um, back to it. Come on, let's. No, perfect. Um, 
Yeah, uh, again, I want to make sure, again, lay of the land. I want to make sure that no one's coming up to us. Uh, I want to make sure that that's my thing, whether I have to roll for it or not. I, that's my constant thing, is to make sure no one's going to jump us here. Most of the people in this building are not interested in jumping you. They, they come here as a giant kind of crash pad. So mm -hmm. they don't really... People only come here after they've got their staff, but they're, they're not interested in stealing from other people most of the time. They're interested in taking their stuff and going, you flash it around, you might have some issues, but most of them are not giving you too much of a second look. Okay. Okay. I'm cool. not on the first floor anyway. <laughs> yeah. Nothing ominous about that statement. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so because it is a chemical warehouse, you walk through the double doors and walk in, and the first floor is the big open floor. There's egg-shaped vats over in the corner, and there's lots of pipes and steam equipment going everywhere. And you can see the stairwell is an open stairwell inside the chemical factory that just goes up. And the second floor is basically a balcony. Uh, it's the second floor in name only. It's actually about two stories up. But it's a balcony that stretches all the way around the inside of the building. It has uh, some other small rooms and other things that go off it. But the stairwell continues through there to the second floor. And then it goes up through the ceiling. And then the third floor is not visible from where you are. It's on the other side of the ceiling. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hey, boss, what do you Dougie want to do? He will uh, say uh, after after you. Uh, please, please let let's uh, to the third floor. To Blix, the third floor. Blix gets let's tired go, of waiting go. for everybody to like move and decide what's happening and starts going up the stairs. <laughs> Love it. He's yep. like, yeah, we're sta we're standing Chester's still. We can't stand Chester's still. You don't stand still. Move. Chester's trailing behind uh, behind Blix. Like as soon as Blix takes, like Chester Chester's like on his rear. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up like cartoonishly and bump into both of you because I don't want to look bad in front of the boss. Right. So I bump okay. into both of them and uh, uh. I'm singing a little bit because I I got a boomer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> nice. uh, I, if, gonna, if Smoke gonna... knew what I rolled, she would be so excited when I was rolling for Cyphers. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, Dougie is gonna get a hum along with Smoke. He knows that song too. You know. I, I, in fact, I'll try harmony. It won't be good, but but I'll try. Yeah. As as long as you don't try to do the melody on the bagpipes. That's. You know, that's... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Too soon. Cool. Yeah, I mean, not soon. Not yet. What? Not soon enough. <laughs> to the third floor. Um, right. So as you guys are climbing the uh, the open stairwell to the second floor, there's a woman on the landing at the second floor, and she's a little jittery, but you notice she's been watching you the whole way up. And I'm gonna. Uh, She's got one hand in her pocket, and it's just kind of feeling for something that's there, constantly reminding herself that it's there. And the other one, giving a piece. Uh, that, no, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I was, damn, you stole my joke, Mike. God. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I was going to go up to this lady and compliment her for looking like Alanis Moore said, but it's ruined. <laughs> it's perfect. It was the setup you needed. Yeah. Isn't that ironic? Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Mutiny. Pete, Mutiny. Of all people. Of all people, Pete. You ought to know. Uh, uh, is she? Oh. Un unacceptable. Uh, so. It's been fun, folks. Stop, Thanks for coming out and joining us. Yes. Uh, um, is she a pure, uh, pure human? Or um, is she, uh, does she look uh, uh like what what genetics can we tell um i don't know if it matters um, too too much but not too much uh she's she's definitely got a little bit of smoke about her okay cool um but otherwise she looks mostly human cool, cool, cool. um okay uh who's who is dog uh chester is dog chester and oedipus chester and oedipus uh roll make an int roll Oh dear. Um, so hey, do we have any starting XP? 
Just side, you know, side question, unrelated. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, uh, you have starting XP. You, uh, what is it? Three is it standard? Two or three? Two. Yeah, that's it's a one shot. So let's just say three. All right. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll that. Okay. Because that was a two. Uh, Chester got a fourteen. Okay. And I so did I. So. Ah. So you both notice, uh, she, the shadow smoke woman, smells very strongly of ultra garlic. And she's she's kind of gacking, like her her jaws just gripped really tightly, and her teeth are kind of chattering in it. And her breath smells a lot like ultra garlic, and she's kind of pocketing her her feeling her pocket and looking at you guys, and just checking you up and down. And she does notice Chester in in the city issue trench coat, and she's she's a little leery. This, she's, is, this is not city issued. <laughs> <laughs> This, the that's, city that's, doesn't. The city isn't this stylish. What the hell? <laughs> I figured the city would just tug, give you an IOU or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice. So she, 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 as you guys get closer, she hits you up. She puts out her hand, like, you "Guys, got any ultra garlic?" Um. Well, that's hello to did. you too, oh, darling. <laughs> um. Uh, let me, well, you know, that's an interesting question. I look back to everybody like, oh, anyone I've gotten in with Alec? Huh? Huh? Uh, Do it? No. Like, I don't have, what the hell is ultra garlic? I don't have the ultra garlic. Nice. It's a, uh, uh, I, 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 Dougie laughed and said, I had some this morning. Well, that's, oh. Dougie, that's 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 a fun little. Fact. I have some, st I have some stuck in my tea. You kind of go, yeah. Don't say that out loud. They'll lick you. Yeah, no, I'm not that cruel, but yeah, <clears throat> not at the what's, moment. What's the going market rate for ultra garlic? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, how, how many quid? <laughs> I would say that's like uh, five bucks. Uh, sorry, what? Five quid for a hit. Oh well, then I uh, I hold up a uh, a five quid bill and I say, um, got this universal uh, ultra garlic coupon. <laughs> if your uh, if your name is, and then I would say what the name was, Penny. Penny. I think. Uh, the name was Penny, but that is not Penny. Oh well, Better. but she doesn't she doesn't tell you that until she takes the five. Okay, well now nice. maybe if you're not Penny, then maybe you can find help us find Penny. Uh, <laughs> Penny's upstairs, man. Just follow the music. You can't miss it. The music <laughs> and the spell of patchouli. <laughs> oh, patchouli! That's, awesome. that's just torturous. That's almost worse mm. than garlic. I mean, um. Uh, oh, that's a good stuff. I'm, her I'm her hand away. flashes for a pocket, but she just kind of takes the fiver and just backs up a little bit. Doesn't mm. doesn't take her eyes off you guys and backs up. I'm okay with that at this point. I don't trust that pocket, but. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, All right. Gang, what are we thinking? Are we going upstairs? Onward. Yes. Why'd we Onward. wait? Onward. You gotta get that fat. No, Upward. She looked, Upward. She looked like a penny, you know? I don't, I don't know what a penny looks like. I, I, I say if, if it's still something worth getting, it can we can get it on the way down. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, at the third floor, the staircase comes up, and it's a, uh, you know, there's a uh, waist-high railing goes all the way around it. Uh, there's no gate. It just opens up, keeps you from falling into the stairwell. And it opens up into a broad hallway. And on the other side of the hallway, there are a bunch of uh, offices. Um, and so there's some lights flickering in a couple of them. There's a couple people uh, cooking up something in one of them. And at the very end of the hallway... You hear, uh, you hear some music uh, coming, and you, you see some you see some smoke wafting out of the doorway, and oh, you hear yeah, some music. That's the party. And uh, one of you hears uh, the words of Gumbo Yaya interrupt the music for a minute. Says, All right, welcome back to the Saturday night dance party. We know how to throw it down, Manchester. He spins another record. Ah. Uh, Gumbo. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. <laughs> boots and cats and boots. 
Yeah. Yeah. Gumbo. Gumbo is the best. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's party. You know, it looks like a party. Let's uh, let's uh, make an entrance. Yeah, let's go dance. Uh, how about we do this? How I'm about not we, fucking uh, dancing. <laughs> how about we, we walk in there and then Smoke does like a little flip. And then we're like, hey, we're the fucking boomers. Where's Penny? And then yeah. everybody stops and tells us what Penny is. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to go do a flip. That sounds good. Yeah. And Blix heads towards the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, now that we have a good solid plan. Yeah. I, well, are you, yeah. is anyone trained in dancing or acrobatics or any kind of skill that might? God, no. Based I, on past experience, this a, is like 18.7% of a plan, but that's usually more than we have. So. <laughs> like, turn the door Truth. Off and like flip on it. You do what and flip on it? What? I, I just rip the door off its hinges as I burst in. <laughs> and I like dance with it and then do a flip on top of it. Oh my god, she nice. ruined the door. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's, do a, let's do a speed test. I got a two, so I just like burst oh. through the door and like fall on it. I would say you kind of slam into the door, yeah, and then it just kind of slowly creaks open because it wasn't shut all the way. Yeah. <laughs> and a few people, a few people stop and look and laugh, but they don't really stop dancing. You just kind of, ah, that's trippy, man. And then they keep dancing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'd like to, I'd like to pick up uh, something, anything around. You can let me know what horrible thing is on the ground but <laughs> something that that i can pick up and be ready to throw just doesn't have to be heavy it's uh well the radio right, is right near the door oh it is oh then i don't have to throw anything uh so the music is coming out of the radio right at the door yeah and now there's, oh, okay there's about 12 people in here all dancing they're a bunch of different modes uh Got it. And a bunch of your modes, a bunch of different uh, male, female, whatever. But yeah. everybody dance and have a good time. Uh, right uh, everybody doing the roll? Let's do it. 19. 7. 15. 13. 20. Nat 20. Woo! I can't see Chester or Dougie. But I trust you that it's 19 and 20. I just They don't show up on cycle screen. Yeah, I yes. messed up colors somewhere in there. Sorry. Okay. No, I got uh, that's a that's a nice green twenty for me. Okay, so those are minor effects yeah. on the thing. Okay, okay, good. Uh, you guys I, all recognize everybody here is on Blitz. Yes, go ahead. I was gonna say my minor effect is I learned something unexpected but useful. So just keep that in mind. Oh. Well, okay. uh, uh, you everybody is tripped out on Blitz, and as you walk in the door. Uh, Chester hears one of the here's a, here's a big shaggy dog man turn to the human woman barefoot in a filthy sundress next to him and go, hey Penny, check that out. Look, we just came through the door. It's boomers, man. And she laughed. God, and she damn it, right, getting recognized. <laughs> we get out of here as fast as possible, everyone. What a bunch of feather heads and losers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man! It's just harsh and mellow. It's just like feel the vibes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you got uh, you got any uh, good stuff that I, I I've got? I need some uh, a fix, man. You, you got, look like you're having a good time. You got any stuff in trade, man? I got this uh, this uh, blurb fly controller. I don't need one of those. Oh, wow, man. I can get some money it. for that. Sure, here you go. And he, he hands you some bliss. Yeah. Are you uh, sure that's a good idea? Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's, on, she's on Boomer. It's a great <laughs> idea. The title of our entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> truth. Truth. <laughs> uh, good. Um, so Pen Penny uh, is one of the people in here then? Correct. Um, Penny is the uh, the the looks to be pure human, dancing in a filthy sundress, barefoot, and list out of her skull. 
Mm. Can I then, can I make I don't just because the way they're talking and I'm being stereotypical uh, and I am a vert man myself although no one knows it can I make a uh, sense vert nature uh, uh, test there it cost me one intellect okay. uh, uh, yeah just to see if Penny there is part has vert genetics or yeah. Uh, you do. You don't sense it in Penny. You do sense it from a couple other people around the room, but it's okay. people with it's cool. people with yellow eyes or the guy with tentacles for arms. So it's, it's yeah. <laughs> Got it. Okay, that was worth it. Just just gathering info. Yep. So yeah, uh, unless yeah. unless somebody's going to stop him, Blix is just going to walk up to her and stand probably far closer than he's supposed to. <laughs> like, <laughs> We've been looking for you. <laughs> Wow, and she gets right up in your face even closer than you might want and just starts, come on, feel the music, man. And she will not stop dancing. Can, can I walk up to her and start dancing with her because I'm worried about Blix? <laughs> I have known Blix for a long time. In fact, Blix owes me a lot of money. A <laughs> lot her. of money. Character connections. Never you, get that much. If he's just standing there and you come up and start dancing, then she definitely turns her attention to you and starts dancing yeah. with you. I start kind of like doing Jamiroquai, kind of. Like, mm. <laughs> nice. Here's a big furry top hat. Yeah. Yes. I'm getting a lot of mileage out of knowing Jamiroquai. <laughs> You're the only one who's gotten any mileage out of knowing Jamiroquai in the history of the United States. <laughs> I mean, Jamiroquai might months. have gotten something out of it, but. I can't. Tell. I don't even think they did. Uh, I think Napoleon Dynamite got something out of it. Other than that, that's all. I think if you ask Jamiroquai, they would say that they regretted being Jamiroquai. <laughs> from the for mansion. All the, for, for all our viewers that are big Jamiroquai fans, he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we just fair, alienated the entire Twitch and YouTube audience. So way to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Hey, it looks there like I'm getting some. Of just got doxxed. Ooh, yikes! That's, that's there are harsh. dozens okay, of them. Like dozens. <laughs> nice. Uh, perfect. Uh, you know what? If I'm near the the radio, I'd like to. If it isn't already at ten, I'd like to turn it up. Let's get this party going. I think she, if she's going to give info, I think she needs to be dancing even more. You hear universal applause. Yeah! Okay. At this point, Chester just steps outside. Like he's, 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 he's just, I love it. He just steps outside. Uh, I am not in the yeah. room until a set, until something happens that's loud enough for me to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. <clears throat> I'm dancing my head off. So make me roll if I need to, but I'm I'm on fire. I was going to say, everybody who's yeah. dancing make a speed roll. Oh, I got a nine. Oh, hell That's yeah. So, absolutely. I, I'm going to, I'm going to like, oh. go up to uh, Dougie and be like, hey, I scored some bliss. You want some? Speed. Oh. Oh, shit. Yes. Okay. Wow. You guys are horrible dancers. Yeah, <laughs> three. Um, I was so, whatever uh, Smoke just said about having bliss or something must have gotten me you know off my rhythm with the three uh yeah uh bliss oh okay yeah yeah well uh, so nobody pulled any sweet dance moves you didn't impress anybody but you also didn't critically fail so but nobody <laughs> nobody stopped and laughed like, i pulled some sweet dance moves they were just only sweet in my head well and these people are totally blissed out so there's a few of them that the, the few of them are doing just the uh, the standard uh, 90s white guy, where they just look down and shuffle, just kind of kick one foot forward, and then they kick the other foot forward. Oh, you mean like I dance? Shoegazer. <laughs> Shoegazer, there you go. Yeah. They're all on bliss, so they're very easy to impress. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, yeah, I'd like, uh, I'd like Dougie to go over there again. Maybe only, you know... Uh, graceful in my own head but i'd like to go over there to penny um and uh you know just go up to her and uh say hey uh we're looking for pathfinder uh, have you uh have you uh heard of uh pathfinder well, you're looking 
you don't need to look any further. You found everything you need right here. And she starts kissing on your neck. Ah. While, while simultaneously. No. Kissing. Love. Kissing on his neck. Kissing. Nice. Heard that wrong. Hey, yes. Yes. <laughs> She's not bad. Yes. Something else was going on there. I was very concerned. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I quickly say no. My my trackies. No, love. You do understand how much this velour costs. Uh, <laughs> no, love, love, love. Uh, you know. And I'd like to just step away. And <laughs> if she wants to dance, it's now with me. <laughs> she turns her attention to the uh the the vert dog woman next to her and mm -hmm. grabs her and tongue kisses her and then she turns around and uh leans up against those Oedipus and rubs her ass against his front and then uh, she's she is she is into it and on to something hmm. i think uh i'm gonna uh, can i step outside and uh talk to chester <laughs> you join chester I'm talking. yeah and then uh, yeah hey, chester chester i'm moonwalking out of there <laughs> I think we need we need a bad cop. I mean, I mean that in like a, a figurative term, not a literal term, because you're not a cop, obviously. But we need someone to come in there and turn the music you off. Be a bad one. <laughs> and, yeah, you'd, you'd be a terrible cop. I mean, it's true. Oh, wait, you're you guys terrible. want someone to come in there and turn the music off? I can oblige. Chapter yeah, and then, is in. It's and then uh, the radio, right? Uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, like I'm I'm going to uh, oh what I've got a night stick. Uh, giant cudgel. I'm just gonna smash the goddamn thing. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, everybody stop. Ah uh, shit. And everybody Detective looks towards you. Ah, everyone, listen up. There's one guy in the corner who's a robo, and he just flips a switch in his head, and he starts dancing music that only he can hear, but everybody <laughs> else is paying attention to you. Dig it. Oh man. Where's the tunes? Where's the tunes? Hey, Penny. How's it going, Penny? What? Uh, where, 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 I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a party in, in, inspector. I'm going to use uh, spin identity. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, party inspector. Your party is failing <laughs> From the department of parties. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell her. So we, you were doing pretty well, but, um, um, yeah, the music being gone is big problem. No, except for that guy in the corner, no one seemingly seems to be having fun. We might have to report your party. Report the party? Yeah, yeah I mean, report the party. That's a major party pooper. Well, you yeah, can't but poop on the party if you report it. Yep, I, oh my, my hands God. are my hands are tied. Um, I have to Just report it. You like his hands being tied? Unless, unless you have some information for us, and we can, you know, kind of work our report a little bit and say that you had some sweet Jamaican tunes going when we walked in. Okay. Like, maybe do you know anything about the Dreamweaver named Pathfinder? Because uh, I know some people that really need to know about him. Oh, and Pathfinder. you know, who's that? You helped me there. Oh, oh, Billy. Sorry, Pathfinder. He's so fancy now. Pathfinder. He lives over oh, yeah. in Ardwick. Oh, no. Ardwick. He lives over in Ardwick. He's in a loft. He's, Do you have he's, an address he for him? Anymore. He used to come over here like every weekend and he'd like hang out and we'd do dreams together. Sometimes we'd dance in the real world and sometimes we'd dance in the bird. So groovy, and then he got all fancy and full of himself, and he moved to Ardwick, and she's gonna continue. Uh, yeah. Pete's gonna stop. Penny. Pete's not knowing this, but she's gonna continue. Penny, I've talking. got this is my report right here, and hold up this old parking ticket that's that's like way overdue. Uh -huh. I say I'm gonna tear this up if you give me uh, Billy's address. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You got a pen? Yep. She grabs your arm. <laughs> And she writes the address on your arm. It's really sloppy. I'll allow it. Someone read this before it gets blurry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, Blix anyway. comes over and grabs your arm and just looks at you hear like the clicking noise from a camera and like just lets go of your arm moves on. All right, perfect. I rip up my parking ticket and I'm like, Penny, uh, 
I think you had the potential here to have a great party. We're just going to say it was a good party. But, you know, next time we come, we come by, this better be a fucking amazing party. Otherwise, your party license might be in trouble. Oh, not my party license. We're party people. Mm. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's why we check it out. I mean, we, we don't go to, like, the boring people that only have one party a year. We only go to the real party people. This is where the party investigation really needs to happen. <laughs> that's okay. Hey, you guys have any more tunes? Uh, okay. No more tunes. <laughs> he said no more tunes. Think, <laughs> for a real party, you gotta have a song and sing it. Mm-hmm. Actually, yep. Penny, <laughs> Penny, you could go to that. There's an office we passed on the way here. Toss some lights on. Maybe they have some music. Maybe you should go there. There it is. The Robo Man dancing in the corner. That's a great idea. I guess. The Robo Man bolts out the door. He kind of he misses the doorway at first and hits the side. And then he, he gets himself up and he kind of scrambles out the door and you hear him scramble down the hallway. And suddenly you hear the sound of an intercom system being flipped on and that crackly hum of 20 years of disuse. And then you hear like the plug going into the jack. The contact <laughs> and suddenly oops, 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 boots and cats, and, oh, boots and, cats. No. and now it's not just in that room it's the entire building and Blix, yeah. Blix walks out the door to the room and as he goes past Oedipus and Chester he's just like I hate this place <laughs> like, <just keep laughs> yeah but as soon as he uh, does that everybody in the room's like yeah! And Penny absolutely forgets you exist and turns around and starts dancing and making out with the nearest person. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to, as we're leaving, you cotton. know, again, nice. Uh, and Dougie's, you know, digging it, digging the, the groove and everything. Uh, but uh, I want to look at the boomers and say, now I want all of you to understand that's not the way to comport yourself at a party. She came on a little strong, and you need to have uh, a little bit more class than that. We're boomers now. We're wearing the trackies. Yeah. We can't be acting like fools. I, I, yeah, I take, yeah, yeah. I take yeah, Dougie aside. Classy. Dougie doesn't have much Classy. And Dougie, sometimes, <laughs> you know, we found, and I, I trust your expertise on this, but sometimes we find you just have to flat out lie people to people in their faces. Mm-hmm. Not, not to give you any ideas or anything, but that's not, sometimes you just have to do that. <laughs> I put my hand on your shoulder like this. I stop in the middle of the music and say, Oedipus, I trust you implicitly. And then I, and let's get out of here. And go down the stairs like a fool. You dance your way out. So the woman who was on the garlic earlier is still, is now dancing near the stairwell. And she, but she's dancing, but whenever anybody gets too close, uh, she pulls the straight razor out of her pocket that was there and just kind of eh! Eh! too close to what? To her? To her, her. pocket. <laughs> to yeah, whatever's just, in her pocket. Just to her in general. She's she's dancing, but anybody that gets too close. Eh! Don't Told you I don't trust that pocket. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to do metagame in here, but I have this feeling this pocket is important. <laughs> <laughs> Until until it's like pocket lint, and we realize that we're just uh, yeah in a in a uh, giant. Do we uh, do we really have to ask the question? What does she got in her pockets? Is Let's... yeah. <laughs> just give me a give me an intellect roll. Who was that? Oh, Oedipus. Oh. Since he was asking about the pocket. Uh, that would be an eight. Good call. Okay. Uh, you have you have no idea. Sorry. I'm like, hey, Lex, 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 you could practice on the, on this lady. Um, see, you're working on your social skills. Find out what's in her pocket, and I'll uh, take twenty quid off your debts. <laughs> it's it's great because that's like it's like point oh 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 one percent. It's like it's 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 nothing. Blix, Blix, could, Blix get a, an incredible job for the rest of his life and never pay off that debt. Yeah. Love it. Well, the rest of his life. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both weeks. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, yes. So I think the, the problem here ends up being that, like, yeah, Blix's idea of, like, go up and talk to her is, like, get really close to her. <laughs> You're, like, standing and looming over her. And, like, like. Which means she's probably going to slash you with a straight razor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, probably. Any, anybody who's looking at her, make an intellect roll. Always looking at her. What am I doing today? I, Seven. I'm, I'm dancing 15. my way out. Yeah, okay. She okay, so Blix. Blix, you notice that the pocket she was feeling is empty, and now she has a straight razor in her hand. And she's dancing. Oh. Uh, uh, so. Hey, we figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I appreciate I appreciate the offer Oedipus, but there's a ninety three point two percent chance that she was just talking about the straight race. And uh, nice. I have turned Blix into C three PO and I need to stop that. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, D- Dougie Arkanoid says from almost the exit at the no, or at least down farther than you guys. I told you and z- 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 So you guys notice that the music is actually getting louder once you get out of the top floor? Like the speakers on the second and third floor, on the first floor, are actually because it's a big open room and meant to be the intercom system supposed to go over what was working industrial equipment. It's much louder down here, so the music is really loud, and the party is getting really jumping down here now. You guys don't seem in any danger. Nobody's paying attention to you. They're all dancing, but the music is really, really loud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dancing, dancing. I mean, party police. Do I be see a radio? <laughs> No, it's, it's the intercom system, so it's everywhere through the building. Yeah, it's oh, coming out of that guy's head. It's coming out of the robo man's head. He, uh, right? He plugged his yeah, the cable his into his in. neck, and Jesus, that's awesome. That's cool. So, because people are kind of like dancing in your way, it takes you a little longer to get down, literally, to get down and to get down the stairs. Uh, oh, nice. But nice. as you guys are heading, getting to the bottom of the stairs on the first floor. Uh, you start to hear sirens outside. No. Uh, it's another Saturday night with the boomers. Okay. Hey, we gotta, we hey. gotta, it's, uh, what, what, Wick, right? Yep. Ar- Ardwick. Right. Uh, we, we, uh, 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 Oedipus, we need your, your, your brilliant driving skills. Yeah, I think please, I have a plan. Please, mate. I have a plan. Everybody get in the car. And I'm going to distract the cops by actually using my turn signals. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, it's yeah. That's that some high-level defense. That They will never know what hit them. Yes. No one does that. Right. All right. right. Everybody hop in. Pile in the car before they get here. I pile on the car. That's right. Okay, maybe you want to be inside Go. so you're less, you know, less conspicuous. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, well then. They can't see me. Then crouch down on the roof real hard. Like, yeah, I'll like flatten yeah. myself and I'll like do the smoky thing. I, I, I start the car. I, I turn on my turn, right. uh, left turn signal. <laughs> I draw down the window. I look behind me. I look to the front of me. And I slowly <laughs> unparallel park. <laughs> The cops pull up as you're unparalleled parking. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's two two cruisers, and we just flash cops, and they get out, but they don't get out with guns drawn, and they're not really interested in you at all. It looks like they're just walking towards the the chemical factory. They're, the they're just there. Police. They're there on a noise complaint. They're not really. Mm-hmm. They don't care. They don't care what you do, and they just there all are right. people nearby who called the police about a noise complaint. So they they walk right by you guys. I, um, parties. I, I I I go under the right the correct lane and I I start driving the speed limit. Okay. As you I'm drive still... away, you hear Penny from the third floor going, "Oh no, it's the real party police." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got like our ears are incredible. Well, she's she's pretty loud too. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I mean, she's nice. supposed to be full for another hour. According <laughs> to my character. <laughs> You can just nice. hear it really well over the lack of music. Right. She says mm-hmm. she says the party police brought backup. That's what she says. So. <laughs> nice. I, I like that better. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's, it's uh, narrative. Uh, I, again, uh, I, Doug, Dougie would like to from the front seat because I, I get to be DJ because I'm in the passenger seat. That's the way it works. Uh, and I'm the leader. I'd like to look back at Chester and say, Chester, 
it's your your turn to pick the song now, mate. You deserve it. <laughs> and <laughs> whatever, it turns, even it if turns it's the radio silence, off. mate. You do what you do. Yes, it's it's pure silence. Excellent. Yep. And then I I look to everybody else like this and say, Shh, let's give him a little while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wait for uh, let's say what's the average song length? Three minutes and sixteen seconds. Okay. And then I turn the radio back on. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Cool. All right, we're driving to Ardwick. Ardwick, it. it is. And I'm going to say the drive to Ardwick is uneventful. We don't need to make a roll for it uh, for the okay. sake of, of brevity. Mm -hmm. So you find you find the address, and uh, Penny. What Penny was trying to tell you when you was there, and she she kind of blurted out, "This isn't really. This is her. This is uh, this is his secret kind of crash pad where he does his his editing." This isn't his actual house, so the cops don't actually know about this place. So, but this yeah. is a loft, uh, kind of far off the beaten track. Uh, it's a converted dog food factory, oh. and you can see the uh, scruffy time and happy mints uh, posted up on the wall. But uh, half of the sign has fallen off in disuse. But uh, the outside of the building is kind of shabby and abandoned. But the doors in the front are pristine glass and steel double doors and they, they show a spotless white lobby behind it. There's no security person on duty, but there is an electronic lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a uh, there's an intercom with a video lens and a building directory and all that kind of stuff. Electronics, my greatest weakness. <laughs> <laughs> How do they work? No uh, idea. Magic. Electronic. Math That's magic. Math and magic. You don't have anybody who plugs in or. I mean, I think Blix might be uh, the best uh, asset we have to uh, to talk to this uh, device. Do they all understand witchcraft? Yeah, Blix. Blix may be the one who has has like actual Jackson ports and that kind of thing. Uh, Jackson ports and Jackson ports. Uh, uh. You Jackson stop or I will send you back to the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> you say that like it's a threat. <laughs> oh, if you knew what I had in my pocket and on the inside pocket, you'd know it was. <laughs> what do you mean? What's yeah, in your pocket? None of, none of this what? for you. <laughs> What's in your pocket? Come on, man. I get like real blade. up in your face, and then I remember that's not your face, and I get like real up in your chest. <laughs> There's Ew. like a wet thrashing from inside. Yeah, that's you know. Blix, Blix, Blix is weird. Um. All right, so front door. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we can do this. Yeah. We could try. There's a, there's a regular door. kind of electronic directory that you don't need anything special to access, like any other, you know, like an apartment building, and it shows there are twelve lofts in this building. Uh, and it lists a bunch of different names. The guy's um, name was <laughs> Billy or something, right? Yep. Yeah, one of them. It just lists the last names, but it does list one of the first names as W. There we are. William. Oh, there it is. William. Don't you that's, say that's nothing to try. Oh, yeah. Billy with the W. Yeah. Is that how that works? <laughs> William, Billy. The W side. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh. Is it like a buzzer? Do we have to buzz up, or do we just short for billium? <laughs> there is there is a little there's a buzz to buzz up, and there's a video thing. So if you if you you can type in that person and get the code, and it will access their work their their lock. Uh, maybe we should not all be on video. You're right. Blix like puts his hand over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> And like, which one was W? It's like, like, just, he like, he just like leans on it with one hand and like punches the button for W, whatever, on the, the other. <laughs> okay, it's ringing. Uh, yeah, it's ringing. What, what's the number on it? It's ringing. I'm gonna yeah. send Spaz up to go spy on Billiam. <laughs> It doesn't have. It doesn't list the number of the lock. It just has the code number to access mm -hmm. the, the phone. Oh. 
but there's sure. nobody answering. There is I'll smart. Throw, have them look in all the windows then. Anyone who looks like um, a billion. Hmm. Uh, I'd like to, uh, if, if I could look around, uh, I mean, basically for like either, I know tracks might be a little heavy, but like, I'd like to, I'd like to take a look to see if there's a way I can kind of further identify either through like nearby, there's like parking structures or if there's like windows that are open. I'm not sure, but just something, I don't know. Does that make hey, sense? Oedipus. Tell uh, me you're the pizza man. Sorry, what? Tell tell somebody else you're the pizza man, and and you're looking for billiam. Uh, yeah, say like a hey, pizza for billiam. Uh, I mean, I I think his name is Billy. I think you're really confusing me here, but uh, um, I could I could try that. Sure. Okay. Well, first I'm gonna answer. So Dougie looks around and uh, you notice a there's a uh, parking structure uh, underneath and you can see the cars. Uh, some of the cars are there, some of the cars are missing, but you can't really see much about them. Um, uh, but it, uh, it looks it also looks like this place is kind of partially under construction, so it looks like some of these places might not be occupied at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, and then, uh, I, yeah, uh, I definitely. Oh, uh, I would say uh, that uh, uh, smoke, uh, your blurb flies going up and looking in the windows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the windows, uh, the inside of the the loft, the lights are on, but nobody's moving around. But it's decorated with garlands of uh, feathers, half of them cream. Oh. Uh, Only it's... half of them? Because I want to take some of the rest. Whoa. The rest of them That's are blue. rich. That's a rich person's party party wreath. Okay. Oh. That, hey, a blue still feather. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, boss. Um, boss, what do you think we should do here? Uh well, uh we want to get up there. Uh where uh is it like first second floor or second floor you said all these lofts the are two-story lofts, but the, all the the lofts themselves are sideways. Okay. And okay. The, the, win the windows are all opening on to like they're, they're built with like a there's a first floor that goes the entire width of the building, and then the second floor is a, a second. It's like a loft balcony inside the thing, and the windows open up and show you into the living room, which is two stories tall. So you can see uh -huh. into the living rooms of all these different things. Nice. Uh, okay, I, I'd like to gather the boomers around, say, okay, all of you have a sp special skills or special uh, reason that you're here, you're a part of the boomers. I want us all to work together. Uh, do you, if we're going to climb up the side, we have to do it quietly. If we're going to break in through the front, we have to do it delicately. If we're going to talk to somebody else and convince them, we have to do it correctly. Uh, Right now, there's five of us <laughs> wearing uh, these beautiful trackies. Oh, wait. Uh, so the door, <laughs> the, the, so hang on. The, just just to clear, the door is just, it's the, we didn't get buzzed in. So in theory, I could just smash the door down, right? Yeah. Was, in theory, you just smash the door. That'll get you into the lobby. And then from the lobby, there's a hallway that goes down to the other doors. Is yeah. there so, like a well, fire well, escape well, or anything like that? Well, Dougie's giving this great speech about like Chester's just gonna walk up and just like like just jams his arm as hard as he can against the door until it goes sure. open. Uh, I'll do a mic check against that. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend uh, two levels of effort. Um, so are right you right at the moment where I'm talking about going delicately? Trying to smash the glass. I'm sh uh, I'm gonna first I'm gonna try to like force the door open. I'm gonna hope it's a okay. shit lock. Because those are uh, obviously okay. forcing a door open is a higher might test than smashing the glass. Yeah. It was so first steel, I'm going to try to force said, the door steel open. and glass. Yeah. Well, let's see if I can. Are we, I'm going to re 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 roll that. Well, uh, yeah. he's not. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I think he's actually Again. smashing it uh, in the moment when I get to the speech where I say the word delicate. And right. that's when <laughs> probably, yeah, <laughs> I hear you. I can dig that. 
He's using a sledgehammer right, to kill Mosquito. Yeah. I can dig it. Uh, spending an XP to reroll. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I got a 14. I spent two levels of effort. Okay, that'll open the door. <laughs> so you... It's like... You haven't been a boomer, like smashes open and Chester just looks back. You haven't been a boomer for long enough, Dougie. And just like walks into the lobby. <laughs> Wait, who? Uh, uh, why did Chester uh, disappear from the cypher streamer? What? Magic. No. Cool. Okay. Good question. Oh, there we go. He popped back up. Okay. There he goes. Oh, yeah. He, just, yeah. he just disappeared for a second. So yeah. So you forced the door nice. open. Yeah. I. I. I yeah. <laughs> I mentioned to the others, uh, d does he not remember I'm one of the founders of this gang? Oh, right. <laughs> I, uh, I, I like him. Haven't been on a real I screen. like him. All right, Chester, give me an intellect roll. Because he gets uh, into ordering people around stuff. I got, I got a two. You got a two? I got an yeah, You think you're fine. <laughs> 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 well, uh, oh, <laughs> okay, so you guys are in the building now, you're in the lobby. All right. Um, hey, wait, do we remember which floor William was on? Second we, of no, something, never... yeah, 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 second <laughs> floor. God damn, yeah, he walks right? back out, he opens the door, it, looks at the buzzer, yeah. It's it's not the second floor, but it tells you unit E. Okay. Okay. So what what okay. units do I see? I'm gonna head up. Like, are there stairs or is there an elevator? Well, no. This is uh, the the hallway is just on the first floor, and it's just uh, doors marked A through F. Mm. Okay. So we're just gonna walk down to D. Um. No. I mean, down to E. e. Yes. Uh, uh, so uh, we fall. He, he said it was E. So we go to E. <laughs> How you spell billion? <laughs> and and like a John Travolta meme in the middle of the corridor, uh, Chester's I'm trying to figure out where's E? Was it D? Was it E? <laughs> yeah. It's e. And I'm gonna Chester's gonna knock. Okay. When you knock, the door swings open. Okay. As soon as that happens, oh. like I'm Chester. Chester's gonna jump back a sec. Puts his he just gets his arm near his Vorpal pistol in his coat and just like like. Okay. It's not slowly it's not, sort of pushes open, the door but, open. Yeah, and Chester, you would know, uh, being who you are, you look at the door and see that the door has been forced open before. God, someone's been here first, and Chester just barrels into the room. Okay. No. I want to follow. I'm curious what what's going on in there. Okay. Uh, the well, at least there's a bunch of blue feathers to take. So, da, 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 yeah, exactly. da, da, da. yeah, I'm gonna start collecting feathers. Well, the feathers are hanging in front of the window, which is on the in front of the second floor. So they're all about 15 feet above the ground. But uh, uh, I, can I think right now is actually a good place to take a bio break right before you guys head into good call. Uh, good the call. Or into the feather into into the uh, the loft here. So, uh, you guys want to take 10 minutes? Yeah. Sounds yep. good. Okay. Be back in 10, awesome. everybody. We'll be back in two, two.
Hi, we're back. Hi. How's everybody doing? Hi, Hope that everybody. Wasn't too long. Sorry. Not so, uh, dude's apartment or something, right? Like, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure it'll be just easy. No. Yeah, just marching straight into there. That's you know. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna look for the fridge. Well, you push open the door, and it's a, it's a little bit of a hallway. It's like 10 feet of hallway, and then it opens up. So the loft is, the first floor is the living room and kitchen. And then you can see from the door, there's a spiral staircase that leads up to the second floor. And the spiral Do staircase... Seen... Hmm? Do we see anything on the first floor? Like, do I see any signs of a struggle? Any type of, like, is there things disturbed or tipped over? Well, there's... The place looks like it was built by somebody really OCD. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a, there's a. Uh, I love it already. <laughs> so let me. Uh, a large painting of a bone-shaped dog treat on a vibrant red background is the centerpiece in an otherwise bright and monochromatic room. The kitchen is spotless, with clean dishes, pots and pans hung displayed in pools of accent. Light. The organization would seem to occupy an occupant would seem to indicate an occupant with powerful OCD issues. However. A single stool from the small bar has been knocked over and lies on the floor. Beyond the living room area, the two-story atrium opens up to a spiral staircase that leads to the open second floor. But it, it looks like there wasn't much to mess up. It looks like this person kept it really clean and there's not a lot around to be cluttered up, but there is a bar stool knocked over. Oh, no, not knocked over. I want to go pick it up. Uh. <laughs> Back, like sees right? it there and like kind of like his head kind of like i'm gonna head off to the second floor <laughs> okay oh it does uh, as you head up to the second them. floor uh the second floor is a combination uh bedroom and editing studio but this place is a complete wreck and it has been mm -hmm. violently searched there's dream weaving equipment that's been smashed there are a few blank feathers lying around uh not even creams they're feathers that haven't been printed yet. Ooh. Wow. Uh, yeah, and there's it looks like it looks like there's one piece of equipment missing because you can see a bunch of plugs coming out from the deck and a, a big hole in the deck. But it looks like a lot of the other equipment was smashed open and uh, it looks like it's all messed up. Uh, now above the bed there's a painting of a tiny dog-headed humanoid confronting a giant sphinx. But the sphinx is golden with a big clock for a face. And the clock is actually uh, a pocket watch. But it looks like somebody has slashed through the painting sideways without looking at it uh, and, and just vandalizing it. And then uh, there's, a, there's a fireplace on the second floor. It's a fancy place. And uh, above the fireplace, there's a broken clock, but it's only broken in two pieces. And if you were to put the two pieces back together, it would look like this. Ooh. So um, looks like the same kind of thing that's in that painting. Whoa. Okay, so obviously we're going to put this thing back together. That sounds like um, a good thing. I'm gonna. Ch Chester, like, Chester grabs the pieces painting. and looks for looks around for Blix. Like, where's Blix at? Is he on the first floor still? Blix is on the probably on the first floor. He's like, he might have that stool, the bar stool, like up against the wall that has like the window with like the the thing of flowers, the uh, thing of um feathers. Feathers. So he can kind of like reach and be like, you know, no, not it, not it, not it. This this, this one's crap. Oh, yeah. This one's for children. What is this even doing here? Like most of the oh. ones up there. So, uh, uh, let's see. Everybody, everybody, give me an intellect roll. Uh -huh. Seventeen. You got a six. Got a Fifteen. Five. Oh, and you I'm bringing in feather stuff. Yolo, I am spending an XP to reroll. Eighteen. Okay. So everyone who got above a 15, uh, you guys remember Pathfinder is known, he's, he's, he's done a few things that have made it onto the streets, but most of his work is actually corporate stuff for hire. 
So you're not, you wouldn't really expect him to do much of anything that isn't blue. Like almost everything he's done has been legal. He, he hasn't even strayed into pinks too much. Most of what he's done is blue. So you wouldn't expect to find too much, but some of the stuff he's done has just been so fantastic that that's why you guys are looking for it. Mm. <coughs> Boring. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, there's... <clears throat> You know, I'd like to look around if I could um, for tracks, like see if I can identify tracks or see, uh, I know I can tell it's, or we could tell it's been violently searched, but I want to see where they came, you know, came in, how they got out or who who or what, identifying tracks if I could. Okay. Is that, is yeah, that all right? Uh, let's uh, let's okay. make an intellect roll for that. And you, okay, you I'm going to use you have two. You for searching or anything like that? Yeah, I do. I'm uh, I'm actually specialized in um, following and identifying tracks. Um, oh, I'm a track. Like I'm tracks marks, and I leveled up or with that and everything. So that's like my thing. Um, and I'm going to use uh, two levels of uh, effort um, because I want to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. Just for fun. I mean, whether I need to or not, like I want to make it count. Okay, so that is the plus. Oh, good thing I did. Let's see more. Three times twelve. Uh, Eighteen. Okay. Uh, wait. Five. Uh, four. Let's see. I'm specialized and two. Yes, correct. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so you see, um, they did come in through the front door. They okay. came upstairs. And roughed him up. Uh, it looks like he was he was probably sitting at the editing suites when they got him, because there's a, okay. there's a sign of a struggle around there. Um, and it looked like he he went for the mantle at some point, got but uh, they got him and dragged him out. And then it looks like on the way out they smashed his equipment and took some piece of equipment out of his uh, dream editing. His dream weaving equipment. Is anybody trained in dream weaving or have any any skills in that? No. I, uh, uh, I am specialized in vert feather knowledge and I'm trained in vertology. Okay. okay. Look at the big brain on Brad. Uh, don't look at me. I'm just a pure human over here. Just a <laughs> pure human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't looking at you till you said that. What? What? <clears throat> if I had a tongue, I'd bite it, right? <laughs> Look at Mr. Pure over here. Yeah. 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 Come on, let's not get modest here. Let's keep going. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, like, I don't know anybody who would be bragging about being a pure. Yeah. It's okay. It's not like any of us are robo man shads or anything. So it's... <clears throat> Those guys are crazy. Yeah. So, uh, Chester. Yes. You say you you wanted to uh, try and put that that uh, cat face, the clock face cat back together. No, I'm gonna go down to the second floor and I'm gonna give it to Blix and be there and just kind of like shove it and be like, fix it. <laughs> That's what math magic is for. <laughs> um, I love it. He's the smartest guy in the group. Hey. I mean, like, he will be like, yeah, okay, example, it's a piece and a piece, and, like, it's like, but I, like, mm -hmm. I, like I, I don't have hedge baths or anything like that to be like, oh, ta-da, it is fixed, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, nah, Bl Blix doesn't do that. Blix, Blix does things way too fast and then blows things up, so. <laughs> right. Well, Blix, as you're, as you're moving this thing around, just kind of, what the hell am I supposed to do with this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, you notice that uh, the half that is attached to the watch face rattles a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll try to take a look and see if it's you know, anything obvious or moving, or like, does it look like there's a release or something like that there? Or... But when you when you move it around, it it feels like there's there's a something inside a hollow piece of this uh, uh. built in. But it feels like uh, it's connected somehow to the clock face. That that's judging by where it is, that mm -hmm. that the clock face seems like because everything else is porcelain and sealed. Even when it's broken in, 
when you look at it a little more closely, you can see kind of the outside of a, a hollow built into the thing, but you can't see how to get into it. Okay. Um, yeah, I've, I've down on the first floor, there's like a kitchen and stuff, right? Is there like, yeah. pop rifle through the drawers, try to find like, you know, a knife, a screwdriver or something like that? Okay. See if there's something I can use to like try to pry anything open on it. Okay. Uh, when you pry off, when you pry open the uh, clock face, the clock itself, the face comes out of the porcelain, and behind it there's a hollow, and inside there's something uh, wrapped in a piece of cloth. Yeah, checking you it out. You find feather. Oh. <laughs> now, this feather is uh, black and blue. Oh, good. 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 I'd say he, like he takes a deep sniff, but like for Felix, a deep sniff is like unzip the jacket and like yeah. r- rubbing it around inside his ribcage. <laughs> oh no! Don't get slimy. Uh, audience, man. Does it audience. Look like this. Ooh. <laughs> See that? That's a black and blue right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, and suddenly the front door opens. Obvious... And yeah. Two oh, wait. Black and a shadow box walking. Ah, wait, this is going in my pocket. In? <laughs> two, two flesh what cups and a in? shadow box responded to the silent alarm you triggered when you forced the front door. Of course. Yeah. Um, okay, so you said two what type of cops? Flesh. Two, flesh cops. Two, two real flesh. cops and a shadow, shadow box. Yeah. Oh, god Ooh. damn it. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, Chester just like puts his hands up immediately. Been like, ah. like just checking on our friends, officers. What are you doing here? We got we had an alarm going off here, and the front door smashed open. Is that you? Uh, no, we didn't smash the door open. A buddy of ours went missing. Came over here to check on him. We knocked on the door. The door swung open. We're just trying to figure out what happened to him. Yeah. Hey, just just check. Our friend's name is Billy. He lives here. William. Uh. My name is William. Billiam. Sure, if you want to call him that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Billy Boy. Everybody, everybody, forever. Everybody, you an end roll. Okay. At twelve. At eleven. Yeah. Ten. Oh, uh, ten. Okay. None of you remember this guy's last name. <laughs> 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 I mean, 12 is pretty good. <laughs> 12 is pretty good. This is the last name you saw for five seconds is on it, a flash it, right before somebody smashed Is it door. too late for me to spend an XP to reroll it? No, you can do it. Okay. Uh, drop that. I feel like I should spend effort on it. Yeah. Net 20. Oh. <laughs> oh, that, okay. that was worth an XP. Yeah. That was worth it. So uh, his last name was Forsyth. Okay. Well, he didn't have and... the Forsyth to not get kidnapped. Uh, well, <laughs> was it Bruce Forsyth? His, yes. Uh, William Forsyth. Yes. Awesome. So uh, when you're able to name him, they they drop their suspicions a little bit because you, most B and E don't know the full name of the people whose house they're in. <laughs> 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 what I um so why didn't you call uh, us when your friend went missing uh hang on Pete so uh, this is in the past so this is I don't have to be seek so uh I want Chester I want Chester to rattle off procedure uh very quickly at these cops to uh-huh. sort of get them to stand up just like there's like uh why didn't you call procedure it was like, well, obviously, less than 24 hours form of evidence would be would have to be filled out. And I didn't feel like talking you guys all the way down over to the magistrate's office just to get a form 17A, which would have caused you <laughs> to then have to file a requisition form just for the stop. It seemed like we could just come over here and check ourselves. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to make you roll for it, but it's going to be fairly low because that's good. Don't roll okay. a one. Don't roll a one. Yeah, just don't roll a one. Yeah, I <laughs> say... <laughs> oh. I roll a one. No. Excellent. Can I, well can done. I spend XP to re- can I spend XP to re-roll? That, 
<laughs> I, 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 yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's for charity. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Jack, can you... <laughs> Jack, can you donate another ten dollars, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's awesome. I will gladly donate. For where's where's the link? I will gladly donate. Okay. So <laughs> as as you're starting to rattle it off, the shadow cop starts to warm up and it starts to getting ready to do the info beams. Oh no! About halfway through, the flesh cop goes, "Oh, you, you didn't tell me you were on the job." All right, all right, stand down. It's, it's on uniforms. A bunch of weirdos. Let's go to Wumpies. <laughs> of course. Just like, it's like ne next time, try not to set off the alarm on your way in. Just let us know. Understood. Yeah, Ducky is looking at at Chester like, "What in the vert did you just say? Who is this guy? <laughs> who is this guy I was supposedly recruited? Who is clean?" You know that I, you just see wheels spinning and this Dougie's not gonna, like, <laughs> quiet. Mess with Can your I, uh, reputation uh, at all, Dougie. I know that there's no such thing as perception, but I mean, am I noticing Dougie kind of freaking out? Because I'm I'm gonna go over to Chester and be like, Chester, just like we rehearsed it, that was your best performance yet. A slap him <laughs> on the shoulder. <laughs> 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 Chester sort yeah. of grunts and like, let's get, let's get out of here before I realize everything I just said was bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, next, yeah. Time, next time, hold your badge the right way up. It really looks awkward. But other than that, A plus would would watch again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now I think we realize why Dougie Arkanoid ran away and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> it's this moment when he realizes. That the person he recruited into it is is an MPD officer from the inside. Okay. I don't know what, don't know what you're talking about. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. Ducky just nods. Is like, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Well, that means I just incriminated myself. Thanks. <laughs> Prequels don't have canonical effects. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this, please this tell George. Lucas, please tell George Lucas that is true. Uh, <laughs> Chester shot first. <laughs> um, so yeah, Blix will come out of the kitchen, or he's probably like in the doorway to the kitchen or whatever, still, or like where that area is, because it's loft probably doesn't have real walls around it. Yeah. Um, but like once the the actual like cops, because Chester is obviously not a cop. He would have to tell us. That's how it works. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I know the rules. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But yeah, after the cops kind of like better. leave and they like you know close the door behind them, Blix Blix will be like, yeah, you know that that thing that you gave me, Chester. You know, it had a little prize inside. You know, kind of showed a little feather to everybody. Is that the goddamn thing we're looking for? Blix will take another like big sniff, like, <laughs> like see if he can tell what it is. Is that something I can try to? Uh, shoot it, for? it is something you can roll uh, and you can identify. Okay. Uh, and because you're you're specialized in vertology, you're just trained. Uh, I am specialized in vert feathers. Oh wow! Okay. I'm specialized in vert feathers and trained in vertology. So. Okay. Um. So I'll spend a level of effort because uh, I've got edge and it cuts it down. Uh, so that's, yeah, specialized and one level of effort. Uh, and an 18. Definitely. And uh, that is indeed uh, a bootleg version of the feather you're looking for. Yes. <laughs> now, you say bootleg, this has the hallmarkings of not so much a bootleg, but more like a working copy. It hasn't been pressed to complete blue yet because this was in the process of being edited by Pathfinder. Ah. So they were coming okay. to find it, and he hid it when they tried to get it from him. That's what it seems like. To so this is before the producers come in with their notes. Exactly. And change the good stuff. We like what you've done, I, I roll for but... <laughs> I roll for stealth in real life. 
I think you just failed your role. <laughs> I know. I did. I did. Stealthy. That's an awfully bright, bright taxi. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. I, now, Dougie is responsible in a lot of things, but um, but loves feathers. I mean, come on, who doesn't? <clears throat> Chester, who doesn't love feathers? I I gotta, you know, I'm I'm about as excited to get you know get my hands on this feather as I am to complete this mission or whatever, because this is good stuff. Or it looks good. Um, so, so do we still have to save this guy, or can we just take the feather and go? And sell it? Hmm? No, <laughs> take the feather. Sell it? You're not going to sell my baby. <laughs> yeah. Flix, you've got a I lot have, of babies, yeah. but not having a yeah. shop. <laughs> I think the best thing to do, the fair thing That's to do... That's a discussion do, for a different session. But, <laughs> yes. Uh, w the fair thing to do would be to split it five ways. And the only way I know that we can be sure of that uh is if we take it and split it five ways now it does occur just you my... are standing in the scene of a recent b and e yeah oh yeah oh yeah i'm not oh, yeah no, no no we're we're gonna <laughs> we, get we gotta get to one piece before we take it <laughs> it's like hey bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes i mean don't we as a as a fine uh semi-legal mostly illegal organization have a crash pad somewhere don't wait! Don't we? Okay, uh, got one one idea. that hasn't exploded yet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we can go back to the HQ. Yeah, you have an HQ that has not yet become a crater. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, in fact, I bet when we see it, it's gonna nice be, bring back a whole bunch of good memories. Ah, uh, too bad. <laughs> yes, definitely. The HQ is where it's at. I hate you. Uh, <laughs> It's probably those jerks that did it. Truth. Truth. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should go take it there. Yeah, maybe you should. Sounds a lot safer than in the middle of a, you know, cop covered uh, area. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, mm -hmm. I got snacks. Ooh, snacks. Yeah, yeah uh, we could we could uh, order uh, blurb fly delivery for. Uh, for Papa Dam, or maybe Let's even say, a Pop, Papa Burger Dam is the first thing Blix will recommend, and it was always his first recommendation. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I know what you like, Blix. Uh, I'm going to get that for you. In fact, I'm covering the bill tonight. Everybody, it's on me, and Chester, you're going to love this one. I'm sure it's perfect. This one, uh, I heard that this is the one for people that don't like feathers. You'll love it. Yeah, yeah. Plus, uh, if you don't want it, then you just don't get your cut. <laughs> so. Feathers. I mean, maybe you can sell a seat on this trip into this fine feather, but maybe you should just come with us. Man, I'm just kind of always scared I'm going to get trapped in there. <laughs> get out of oh, come on. Oh, we should be so lucky. Let's see. <laughs> that, would, that would never happen. Uh, you're not going to fall for that one again. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, in jokes that no one else is getting. To oh. the H. <laughs> to the yeah. HQ. Oh, what do you. Uh... Right. Everybody pile in. I might I might even use my turn signal again. You never know. I'm feeling feeling rebellious. And um uh, Nice. I will I will drive us to HQ if we need to roll for that, then uh, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You make it back to XQ without incident because you need to speed it along. <laughs> so your your papa dam comes and it is uh deliciously spicy oh, and perfect. creamy and or crunchy and whatever you want. Although they did forget the extra napkins, but you can't have everything. Were we able to that's sign right. the waivers that's to get the good stuff? Over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you want spicy yep. or do you, you want white people spicy or do you want spicy spicy? I want the wide awake Vindaloo. Extra there wide awake. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The, the, with, that requires the waiver. Yep. Yes. That's right. That's right. With the, with the ultra garlic. Can I have a side oh. of heart attack with that? 
Yes. <laughs> that comes free. <laughs> you yeah. didn't order bread, but that's a non-issue. Oh, Pete. Pete, Pete, we I'm literally uncool. we're. Oh, I'm looking right now. I can make as many as I want. Wait a second. What's a minus one viewership? Oh, minus two. Okay, we're going <laughs> to the negative. I've never seen that one. <laughs> minus ten. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've lost Let's all the viewers this we've ever had over four years. <laughs> True. Yes. Right. Let's. Where is it? We're at eight. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm sure that no one's going to mess with us because, again, we have Balky downstairs, uh, who's or or he's you know out there, uh, who he's trustworthy. Uh, Brent Rambo, well, he's trustworthy. It's a lot of people here. We'll, we'll be hey, fine. Can I, can I point to the, the weird looking dog guy over there and be like, "Hey, you, what, what's your name over there?" <laughs> And can you, you I don't I don't really care actually to be honest. Uh, why, can you stand in front of his door and make us look important while we're in here? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. flashback. Okay. Uh, yep. Let's get into this feather, guys. This is taking too long. In, in character. Yes, uh, obviously. It's not yep. taking too long out of character. Yeah, um, uh, I think uh, uh, Dougie is going to look around. You know, he's still wearing his trackies, but you know, hopefully, there's something either like a plastic Viking hat or something. He he knows where he's going into, and he wants to dress for it, even if his <laughs> he's going to be drooling on the on the the CD or whatever they're called, the couch, uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'd like to. I'd like to do something fun. You know, I want to prepare for this. Let's let's make a ritual out of this feather. This is good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, Ooh, um, good idea. I probably have a I pl I have a plastic Viking hat, I, right? Oh sure, I'm sure you can find a plastic Viking hat. Well, that, that that's what I'm I'm wearing. And I'm gonna put it on and I'm onions you need. Yes, yes, that's what I bring. I bring it over and I just rub my hands. I sit down on the couch and I'm with my buddies that I'll we'll be with forever and let's do this feather. Right, so we all going in then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, assu I assume it ends up like every time we try to do a feather, Blix like grabs it and like starts to reach inside his coat. So he's like, "No, you go last." You go, like, you yeah. go last. Last. No, actually, Chester can go last if he wants. To. <laughs> Chester uh, will go last. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? <laughs> you, you once Chester says, <laughs> "Yeah." Once Chester says he goes last for the first time ever that you guys have ever known Dougie, he says. Uh, uh, no, actually, I, I'll I'll go last. I'll go last this time. Doesn't want Chester <laughs> going last. Not after what just happened. <laughs> He'll keep it to himself. But <laughs> but why don't I go last, good friend, my good friend? What do you say? Whatever. Whatever. I'm going yeah, first, excellent. and I just grab the feather and take it. Z eh, when in Rome, and I take the feather. <laughs> Nice. And, and then it sounds like Blix grabs the feather and reaches underneath the trackie and it comes back out covered in some kind of slimy goo and he passes it off to Chester. <laughs> yeah, Blix there it is. goes last. <laughs> Just, poor Chester. There's a good reason <laughs> yeah. Blix goes last. <laughs> I hate all of this. Chester takes the feather and drops in. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Um, and then, yes, uh, Dougie Arkanoid uh, grabs a feather, looks around like this, you know, uh, and puts down the feather and slumps. All right. Uh, the world fades away to blackness as you sink into the couch. And in front of you, you see the title screen for this feather. Blue yes. Gygax V2 by Pathfinder. Yeah. And that it cuts into the the introductory uh, uh, cut scene that's in front of all of these feathers. Um, but this one, it's uh, the editing hasn't been quite done. So the dream lurches through an incomplete opening sequence 
showing a few highlights from previous Blue Gygax episodes, randomly intercut with a blank white slate with the words, Dream Not Found, in severe matter-of-fact lettering. Uh, what little of the previous episodes the PC can see appear to indicate swashbuckling adventures and epic sword and sorcery battles, including a few formidable monsters. An introductory paragraph merely reads, introductory paragraph, and lingers in front of the <laughs> dreamers for a long time. Uh, in a fully completed blue feather, this would be a full introductory paragraph and would be a scroll, but it's just saying, you know, 404, file not found. You guys, this is great. Like, not only are we doing, like, this exclusive feather, but we're doing it before anybody else because, like, it's not even done. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I feel like the fact it's not done is probably a problem. <laughs> I mean, let's not. assume the it's ending fine. is done. So, the world fades back in a few, and each of you is on a horse. Whee! Excellent. Excellent. Never heard uh, so you're dressed exactly the same way, but you have a, a a pouch full of coins dangling around your belt that wasn't there before. But you're all dressed exactly the same way, and you're all on horses, and you are next to a large merchant cart. And there's a merchant on the cart telling you, Oh, have you dropped in? We're just on our way to the keep. Let me show you there. All right, let's go. And he opens his mouth to give further exposition and nothing comes out. And he just... <laughs> can, I, can, I reach, can I reach in and kind of slap him in the face? Like, do, 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 do. No reaction whatsoever. He just... No, 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 you gotta, <laughs> gotta blow in it. And I blow in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> his response yeah. is just, dialogue option three. Right, exactly. <laughs> so as it's rolling, he finally says, and that's what's going on with the key. So where are you folks from then? <laughs> So can you repeat? Sorry, I missed something. Can you repeat what's going on in the keep? Oh, of course. Well, very <laughs> good. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> no, it As hasn't been written yet. Your own adventure. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I think what's going on in the keep is there's a party. There's mm. oh, always a party in the keep. Party police. Yeah. That's so true. you guys are on a gravel road. There's green hills that roll away to your left meaning a forest in the distance. A sliding bank that runs down your right, ending at a wide, meandering river. And there's a dense forest on the other side of the river. As the road and river turn around a bend up to the right, the valley ahead of you opens and reveals a small but sturdy-looking peak on a spot carved into the hilltop. The square central tower overlooks a small, walled-in area, but the main gate is currently facing away from the traveler. There she is! And the merchant... Uh, points and shouts over his shoulder at you, and he picks up his pace a little slightly, spurs his mules on a little quicker, and uh, you all, uh, your horses, uh, keep pace with it. The road continues for another half a mile, during away from the keep and towards the swamp, and before it curls back up to the keep. So as you get there, the drawbridge is open and the portcullis is open, but there's a large party of guards out front. And the main guard stops out and he stops the merchant. Who are you and where do you hail from? And the merchant says, I am. And the guard says, you may pass. And the merchant just keeps walking right on through. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can I walk up to the guard? You walk up to the guard. The guard says, who are you and where do you hail from? You may pass. <laughs> of course. He does that to each of you in turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who are you and where do you hail from? This, 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 this is so broken that it's made for my, my defective brain. And on, I have on a terrible way, problem coming, though. On your way through, Oedipus, he says, By the way, mind that you don't upset the local magistrate while you're inside the, the castle, or he might send you to... Good to know... Oh... <laughs> And I uh, walk on. Uh, kind of confused. Hmm? Who's the local magistrate? You do not know the local magistrate? Why, it's the mighty lord. Uh, of course. This is this my is kind good. of game. Nobody has to remember any names. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, not knowing these names might be a problem later on, but I feel like we should have sold this thing. Yes. Anyhow. 
you know, we can't really go back and stuff it back into Feather, so let's keep going. So Blix, Blix may have, like, a weird problem getting into the town, then. Because Blix ah. doesn't actually have a face. Um, so I can't... I have no problem. Yeah. It's like... Yes. Ooh, he just, yeah. like, he's there, he just, he, he does, like, the hand gesture, it's like... <laughs> this is Blix door of Around Heria. Yeah. Where's Around Heria? That's quite a ways around away. Here. It's around here. Uh, yeah. oh, I was mistaken. I thought it was far. <laughs> it's yes. it's in the province uh, of over there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so as you go through, he, he asks for your name and where you're from, uh, and he records that information. But if you don't say anything, he doesn't record anything. But it's it's all mishmash and glitchy, so you just walk right on through. But as uh, you guys Clem. pass <laughs> under the court the portcullis, uh, the world fades to black, and suddenly oh. each of you are standing in a an infinite black room in front of a mirror. And to the side of a mirror, there's a menu, and the menu says fighter, cleric, mage, thief, uh-huh. barbarian acrobatic and it, it's just it's there so you can wave your hand near them and one of the options will light up and if you look in the mirror it changes your clothes and your equipment that's amazing I, I lean in and i say computer repeat options i what huh it doesn't respond to voice commands it responds to your hand touching the menu all right where, where to gather options again i want to be a thief i poke yeah. thief fighter cleric mage thief Barbarian, cavalier, acrobat. Oh, cavalier! Oh, I remember. I, I say, I say, cavalier. <laughs> yes, I. I got it. <laughs> you are given a shield. With yeah, a, <laughs> yeah. You're given a yellow armor and a shield with a falcon on it. Man, I oh, was going to pick it. the cavalier. I remember that in the ancient uh, Dungeons and Dragons TV that pre-feather, that yeah. that was the most charismatic, likable character. <laughs> yeah he was Moment. the most Ew. one could say he was donny most no 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 let's keep this to something keep something happy days i don't know come on <laughs> all right so <laughs> was there an acrobat in there there was yes there was yes click Ooh. okay <laughs> you are in a fur bikini Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Does, does he have like the white pole, like the extended yeah. pole? Yeah. With the big pole. Quick, quick question: Do I have my bucket list on me? Can I check it off? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I poke thief. And these okay. others. You get a cloak and a dagger and leather armor and basically whatever you want. We're, we're going to streamline this process, so you, you get to choose uh-huh. your fantasy outfit. Yeah. It, the only thing is, the only option it doesn't let you wear is the clothing you came in here with. Mm-hmm. So you have to choose some kind of fantasy outfit. All right. I, I'm going to um, I'm gonna have, a, you know, the cloak and dagger and, like, leather armor and, like, but the cloak... Um, is gonna have like it's gonna be red with like uh stripes around the edges you know like okay there are customization options available yeah and there's three of them nice <laughs> nice nice yeah uh ducky nods like that like that's that right there that's uh as you got style as you cycle through the options when you cycle through on cleric and uh wizard they have a little subset where you see a book that glows and that allows you to, to uh, know what your spells are going to be. Uh, Chester's going to take Cleric. Okay. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Blix, Blix stands there and like for way longer than Blix ever stands still. He's like, oh, these <laughs> options and the things are right. Barbarian would be good. But it's like... Best, best, is best to stick. Best to stick. Yeah, optimization for the sake of optimization. Nice. It's best to stick with what I know, and he like clicks wizard. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And True. so Chester's fantasy outfit is basically his normal outfit, but 
you said it can't be the same outfit you walked in there with. Sure. So instead of a black trench coat, he has a dark gray trench coat. Instead of his 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 red his red tracky, uh, he has a maroon track. Like it's everything just like one shade slightly darker. Oh yeah, uh, but he there's also maroon, has a there's a maroon jerkin with a hood yeah, with three stripes. Yeah, that's nice. he'll take that. Okay. <laughs> I think Blix's is like the big Claire wizard robe red. that's red with the white stripes, and he has like the there staff like Gandalf and the big red hat. Um, and he says, for some reason this just feels right. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet. Nice. Mm hmm. This feels Cavalier comfortable. Tracks. It feels familiar. <laughs> like... Mm hmm. All right. Uh, this thing is itchy, by the way, so we should get going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the fur bikini. <clears throat> okay, it's a so, magistrate. Uh, as you never look better, Eddie. You never look better. <laughs> <laughs> as you it's finalize true. your choices, the the uh, the world fades back into view and the black goes away, and you are once again astride your horses. Except now, you are in your chosen fantasy outfits. Yep. Good. And you ride into the courtyard of this uh, of this castle. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. What the hell are, are there... we supposed to do here, guys? <laughs> we gotta not piss off the magistrate. Clearly. Uh, I, and and get, the magistrate? get a, a little more information on perhaps on uh, who a little more on Mr. Bill uh, Forsyth. Uh, uh, perhaps, you know, you know how these wonky early feathers have their, their holes. I have no yes. idea what you're talking oh. about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they have their gaps, their cracks, their spaces into the beyond. It's exactly the thing <laughs> we're looking for. There so, it is. Uh, you also, uh, uh, the merchant says, uh, who is the leader of your group? The merchant is inside and his cart is set up and he's selling wares. Who is the leader of your group? <laughs> the ranger. <sighs> Wait. <No. laughs> I, I raise my, my, uh, let's see what the cavalier had. What was it? Just, uh, did you have a lance? I don't was it a lance had, yeah. or a rape? Not a rapier. Uh, well, just had some a, kind of a rapier. The rapier is the, the cavalier in the cartoon didn't have anything. He just had the shield, but you, you can have a rapier. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, a rapier. I, I raise it up and I, I hold up my shield and I say, you know, I, I am the leader of this, you know, uh, extraordinary party. He draws a scroll. Uh oh, he draws a scroll out of his uh, jacket and says, "Then this is for you to uh -oh. find your path." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's nice. just what we need, a pathfinder. <laughs> yes. I, I do I do a very flowery bow. Uh, and uh, yes, I turn back and obviously, okay. you know. So he hands you a scroll. Mm -hmm. Maybe You're going to read it, scroll, right? Please? You know how to read? Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I thought that's what the <laughs> scroll said. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, the scroll. Yes, uh, uh, I would like to. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it over to, uh, who's the closest to me? Quick, quick. Me. Uh, From a you, leadership yeah, okay. potential, totally me. <laughs> yes, uh, perfect. I, I, I give it to, I, I go to give it to Smoke, and I say, I, I think you're gonna shine. This is your time to shine, Smoke. And I, I give you the, my, my rapier uh and you are now the leader <laughs> i don't know why but why not what? <laughs> no no i'm just i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to incentivize my my future my my boomers my future leaders of tomorrow okay so smoke has the scroll mm -hmm. read it yeah exactly read it. Oh. plus if, if you read it and if, I, i'm gonna read if there's it. a trap okay. You open it up. It's not actually anything to read. It's a map. Oh. And there's two icons in the map. There's a green icon, and that's inside a castle keep. And that looks like where you are. 
there's a red icon that's an arrow that's flashing. And that arrow is flashing somewhere over here, out in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Well, this feels vaguely ominous. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us, so, uh, a great leader, what should I'm we do? Read it, and I'll be like, red icon, green icon. That's, it doesn't have, have mm -hmm. words. So I did the can best you, I could. Can you describe what you're looking at? Oh, it's a map. <laughs> and there's an icon on the map. Yeah, like, I think this one's like, you are here, you know, like at the mall. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> and what's the other one? You're not here, but you should still be <laughs> You should, should be there. Yes. Yes. What do you think, team? Are we, are we teamy? That's where teamy? we want to go, yes. Yeah, Brilliant. Like, let's go there. I mean, Brilliant. sorry, lead, sorry will, great leader. I will, I will do whatever over. gets us out of this goddamn thing faster. <laughs> Tally ho, which doesn't make sense. Let's play, but... Chester. Play to win. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, as fast as we can. <laughs> let's so uh, the let us says, off. The merchant says. The merchant says, "Well." It's it's good that you wanted to be on your way. Of course, if you wanted a drink before you needed to go, you could come with me into the tavern. And he walks over to the tavern, opens up the door, and steps inside. Oh yeah, I need a drink. Oh come on, Everybody that boomer's wearing drink. off. It's like a yeah. Come on. What up? Yeah, I could use a drink too. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Are you yeah. Now all of a sudden, Chester's like way into this. He's like, I'll be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just stay good. here. Okay, so you walk yeah. into the tavern? Mm, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, you walk into the tavern and it's a blank white void. No. <laughs> God damn it, I hate feathers. <laughs> oh, I search around the void for some boots. I raise my hand and I go, Garçon, Garçon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's well, that's Garçon disappointing. Boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, that's Sir, disappointing. I, I mean, I mean, find Robert Duvall with a shaved head, and that's it. Sorry, what? Sorry, I I made a THX one one three eight reference, but we don't need that anymore. I thought <laughs> I thought I thought it was a Boo Radley moment there. Oh, well. that, that you were going for. Also, the shaved kind of anyway. There's so many reasons to shave your head. Uh, and uh, so many reasons to wash you... your hands and not touch your face. So. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Don't tell me nice. what I can't do. I mean, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, the more man. you know. Yeah, I, uh, to illustrate, to illustrate um, Char is my wife. We live in the same place, and we are more than six feet apart. That's how committed we are. That's to true. Social distancing. <laughs> also, the microphone that's will pick good. up the background noise. There's that. Yeah, that's not the real reason. The real reason is the isolation. Yes. <laughs> Carry nice. on. Let's go to the place with the arrow icon. I. I I use my spurs to kick into my trusty steed. Okay. And I. Yeah, yeah. we thunder off into. Dougie's the... all into this one. So, uh, as soon as you guys leave through the portcullis, uh, your map beeps. As I'll maps do. Map. Right. Sure. I don't know. Onward. <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you're looking at the map after it beeps, uh, suddenly it's not okay, just yeah. the keep and a blank spot. Now there's roads, and where the red arrow is pointing, it's in an area that says Caverns of Chaos. And there's a wilderness area over here. It says Lizard Men Encampment over here. And uh, the, all these titles that weren't there before happen after you take the map out of the, out of the keep. Oh, cool. But we the, just the unlocked blinking, the map area. But the blinking area oh, is still man. pointing at the Caverns of Chaos, which is, you can tell from where you are, it's fairly easy to navigate through the road that needs to be different. Maybe they put the tavern in the Caverns of Chaos, so then it's like the Cavern Cavern. The Taverns of Chaos? Yeah. Oh. The Taverns in the Cavern, but the vessel with the pestle holds the potion of commotion, but the chalice with the palace holds the brew that is true. But now, now the pellet of the poison is in the flagon with the dragon. 
I am so confused right now. Sorry. I just had oh, a wow. I'm so oh, impressed. I, Very impressed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. We, off we go. We got world map unlocked. Let's, let's, I, again, I keep throwing my rapier uh, in the air and pointing it in the direction because I feel that's what I should do. But how? Onward! <laughs> yes. I've got a stealth dagger. It is. Wow, nice. it's weird. Yeah, mine's a, a letter opener. <laughs> so I got a rock. My friend. <laughs> so you guys, you guys ride out for about an hour. Uh, you pass the swamp, and you pass the uh, the road that leads off to what it says is the lizard men. Then you pass the swamp, the the road that leads off to the hermit's cave. Uh, and suddenly you're not suddenly, but gradually you enter this valley that seems like a, a deep forested valley that leads on and on the other side of this valley is the caverns of chaos and as you turn the corner of the road sitting in the middle of the road is a creature that looks like a beast uh -huh. it looks like what <laughs> it, it looks like the overlay i just put on oh <laughs> nice and it says, hey, it's TikTok. Face. TikTok. Uh, and it looks at you. Is, and, is he late wait. for a very important date? He is. He is late for a very important date. Uh, so can I, can I roll? Okay. Can I roll and see if I remember what the clock face and the painting was set to? Yes. In, uh, in, okay. And I'll spend effort on it. Um, let me cool. see if I can remember. I got a 12. Okay. It was set to 820. And what's the what time is um, the clock face on the creature set to? Uh, the clock face on the creature was set to... Uh, the creature here in front of you, it is yes. set on... Uh, damn it. It's set on... 10, 10, 10. Okay, cool. How, how so, big is this thing? Uh, it's about the size of a house cat. Oh, cute. No. Can or I a ghost it? cat, excuse me. Uh, can, as, you, uh, as you come nearer, it flips away from you and lands up on a tree. But it looks at you and says, TikTok, TikTok. Like it's not actually ticking, it says TikTok, TikTok. It says TikTok. Nice. I, I go, I make a whole bunch of, mm, oh, come here, oh, sweet, sweet little kids. Kids. Yeah, I'm a whole bunch of like really embarrassing, like, oh, kids, oh so sweet girl, yeah. or whatever. The clock um, face goes, <laughs> oh, man, now it's, up, now it's three o'clock all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. And, oh, and the clock sad. changes time to 9.15. Got Does it. What mean? Uh, it's going from angrier to less angry. If if, if is it right? saying we're running out of time? This? Maybe it's regressing. Uh, well, it looks like the Sphinx was angry in the painting, but when it first met you, it was kind of happy. But when you just sit there making pussy pussy noises at it, yeah, it just goes flat across. If I, uh, <laughs> if I tried, uh. if I try to walk towards it, um, what kind of space does it make? I try to kind of follow it. If you start to follow it, it goes back to happy face. Hey guys, I made it happy. And it starts to uh -huh. to the side. You start to see as it flies into the trees to the side of the path, you can suddenly see a path through the trees that wasn't there before. And it flies about 15 feet down the path. And then it stops in the middle of that side path and turns around and looks at you and says, tick tock, tick tock. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, I nod over to Dougie and be like, see? Huh? I did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tick tock, tick tock. Time, time's wasting. Blix is going to turn the horse. Try to try follow it. <laughs> okay. It, yep. it gets even happier, even though it can't mathematically change to even happier than it already is. Um, <laughs> but it says tick tock, tick tock. And it starts uh, flying down the uh, pathway away from you, but not keeping you out of sight. It's not trying to lose you. It's definitely trying to leave you. All right, let's follow Ten Ten. Yeah, Timmy, Timmy's falling down the well. Ten Ten. Yeah. 
Ten ten, yeah, good call. Ten ten, uh, good name call. By, name by Nev. Ten ten, for his happy face. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, ten Rin ten ten. Oh, okay. Okay, so it leads you. Uh, leads you on a yeah, dark let's path. let's follow. Yeah, it leads you on a dark path away from the road, and it just keeps flitting from perch to perch as it goes, urging you on. Uh, uh, about when you're about a uh, hundred feet from the road, you hear the the mat makes another so sound, but this time the mat just kind of says. Meow. Whoops. That's fine. I'm sure that's fine. Tenten? <laughs> uh. um, Tenten says tick tock, tick tock, and keeps gesturing you up the path. So, what way? What, what made the weird sound? The, the map. map. The map. Scroll. Oh. I look at the map. There's nothing on it. We're in uncharted oh. territory. I think they forgot to build this part. Did you try you turning it off and back on again? <laughs> Is it going to be like Cavern Not Found? Oh, I'm almost hoping. I'm oh. almost hoping. Like way to find out. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Oh, wait. So just, just to make sure what we're doing here, we are ignoring the fact that this map that goes with this feather is telling us there's nothing here. Instead, we are following an imaginary creature from a painting. I'm just making sure I'm um, totally good. Like yes. The imaginary creature is also part of the adventure, and her name is Ten Ten. Ten Ten. Nice. Ten Four. Nice. Roger. Okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm just here to follow. When right? the map stops working, you have to have a guide, and Ten Ten's our guide. Tick tock, tick tock. A very impatient guide. Yeah. Or, yes. Okay. Uh, just whatever, just whatever we do, just can we go? Bl Blix stop. just keeps going. <laughs> Right. Blix, Blix yep. will just keep going. He's like, no, we can't. We can't sit here. Yeah. So TikTok keeps leading. Can't sit still. Sitting still is not an option. So as you go, you start climbing. Okay. And it goes up the hill, and suddenly the trees break, and you're climbing up the side of a mountain, and you're above the tree line. Uh, as you cool. look back, I wasn't here a minute ago. As you look back, everybody make an int roll. Forgot how to roll dice. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, got no. a four. Uh, uh, nine. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, Oedipus, Sorry. when you look back, uh, you realize that you what you're seeing behind you is not actually where you came from. It's a completely mm -hmm. different valley. Looks fine to me. The keep isn't there. The road you came in on isn't there. Nothing uh, looks the same as what you just came from. I, I point backwards and say, that's that's weird. I think Wait. this, this, uh, this is, is guy, the observation that something strange is happening inside of Earth Feather? Uh, Oedipus. <laughs> We've been over this before. <laughs> okay. You know how I sometimes criticize the writing on Feather? This is lazy writing. <laughs> Consistently, what is this like? If this if this was the like the early the early two thousands, the twenty somethings, people would call this CW mm -hmm. writing. Yeah. CW writing. There this it is. is. That the is the quality cool. I'm this used to. Is one of the most amazing. That's why I'm confused. It's an in right. progress no. feather. It's not you finished. Just, you haven't discovered the twist yet. But what if the twist was inside us all? Never mind. Let's just keep going. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Yay! I, ra I point my rapier and I kick with my spurs and I say, uh, "Sally forth again." <laughs> Follow I'm that cat right. horse. <laughs> What's that mean, yeah. Sally? Who's Sally? Uh, I don't know, but <laughs> I have a friend of the game cat. Yes. <laughs> so, as you guys crest the mountaintop, the the path that you're heading towards. You look down the other side, and TikTok is leading you. And down the mountain, in a little a valley on the other side from where you came, you see what I just put in there. Uh, there's a path that leads you to this valley of standing stones with glowing runes on the ground all around it. 
Rad. And this this definitely doesn't look anything like the rest of the feather area you just came from. But TikTok happily right. flits down the path towards the standing stone, and he doesn't wait for you anymore. He just goes all the way down. Right. Uh, I can I wave to Blix. Blix, did we did we <laughs> sidestep? Yeah. Did we sidestep into another feather? Are we really screwed here? Because this feels weird. That doesn't go there. It's not even a placeholder. Mm -hmm. Can I read the writing at all? Is that, I mean, I know it's, uh, what is it? Uh, I see it, you know, in the picture that it's glowing and everything. Is it a particular, is it something I can read or I recognize? It's definitely symbols. They're a little far away for you to make them out clearly right now, but you can definitely okay. read the map. Uh, and Blix, if you want to roll for what he's asking, you can go ahead. Yeah, I'll you are, checking it you out. are definitely trained, specialized in vert feathers. And everything, so. uh, 17. Yeah, you are definitely not inside the feather that you took. Uh, there might have been some minor shifting of contents in transit. We're fine. So... Uh... Does does any of this ring any bells for other feathers I may be familiar with or anything like that or not not really uh, okay you don't have vert lore you have like feather knowledge I've uh, got vert vert feathers and vertology Vertolo and math magical theory we made up these words when we created the characters well there's that yeah. <laughs> so uh uh with vertology and a seventeen I'm going to say you. You've heard of things like this before, but it's generally, uh, it's generally powerful vert creatures that have that pull people out of their normal feathers. Oh, yeah. I got a little Ooh. bored, so I just decided to kick us onto another path. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, are you an edge yeah. rider? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, it sounds never like mind. It. Um. Uh, I, I try to do the responsible thing as a the leader there, but uh, you know, I don't know if we're any safer or better off here. Like, we can't really go back the way we came. It seems. Uh, so I look to the group and I say, "This is the point." Uh, you know, I'll I'll respect your wishes, but if anybody wants to 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 jerk out of this feather. Uh, now might be a time when, you know, Whoa, if you no, want to do it, we can. Wait, 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 no. wait, 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 no, no, we can, no, we do not jerk, <laughs> Chester, no, we do not jerk out, play to win, god damn it, play so, to win, maybe we're yes. in a yellow feather and then you don't have the option anyway, so yeah. there's that. Huh. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, can imagine how difficult it would be. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so uh, I won't think anything. I won't think any less of you all. Uh, but, I will. Uh, yes. Um, I will yeah. think nothing of you after that. <laughs> how about the, should we take a vote? No. Yeah, should we I'm take hurt, a vote? I'm hurt and offended that you would think we would do this. <laughs> and by we, we I mean not Chester. <laughs> <laughs> We can we can take a vote. I think that's the best thing to do. All right, let's do it. All right, stay in. Uh, uh I'm gonna. I will force point anyone <laughs> who says <Exactly>. no. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Well, I, again, Chester. I look over Chester. Say, Chester. I I want you to understand that I was trying to respect your wishes, uh, and uh, yes, but. The group has spoken, and then I smile huge and say, "Let's go!" <laughs> I'm really democracy. Into this I don't want to jump out. <laughs> <laughs> democracy. You're railing against democracy. <laughs> it feels like Dougie doesn't get out much. We need to work. No. On that. No, I'm a desk. I'm a desk jockey there. I've been pushing <laughs> pencils in the back room like an idiot. This is my first time out. This is wonderful. You're the desk jockey of the organized crime syndicate. Yeah, that's... <laughs> He's not a wartime consigliere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could call him. Uh, 
Good. Good. All right. Uh, All right. Onwards. Tick tock, tick tock. Mm hmm. Don't make the clock late or something. No, as you guys are, as you guys are voting and choosing at the top of the mountain, uh, a low rumbling voice drifts up from the hinge down there and just says, "Come." Oh, for fuck's sake! Is it too late? Winston. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it too late to change my answer? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Forward, we're moving on. Here we go. Yes. Oh, I, man. Kick it, I mean, kick it in the spurs. Here. We gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, let's follow the imaginary creature. Mm-hmm. For William. For William. Yeah. For Billy, yes. For Billy. For Billy! Who? Oh, right, that guy. Right, right, right. I got this. So, uh... Uh, I take it you're all going down then? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Okay. So as you go down and get closer to the hinge, uh, you notice that some of the large rocks in the background are actually moving. They're kind of shuffling around in the background. And as you get closer, some of the mists, you can see they're actually giants. They're not doing anything threatening. They're just kind of moving around. Uh, just and then as you come closer to the hinge, you see clock watcher is sitting on top of one of these one of the columns sorry cool. tiktok tiktok is sitting on top of one of ten these ten. columns ten ten. Ten. <laughs> looking, at you, looking at you saying tiktok tiktok and standing next to the column with one of its forearms holding a staff with a burning pyre in the end of it uh stands next to a fire uh waiting for you Oh, as you get closer, cool. cool. As you get closer, you can see this creature. He he's shaped like a four-armed human, but his skin looks more like bark than it does like a human, and he looks kind of tree-ish. Uh, his his feet kind of end; they kind of radiate out in something more like roots than they do like uh, toes. And he stands by the fire and uh, welcomes you. Um, oh, nice. I got this, guys. Let me do the talking here. Wait, before you go in, Edifice, we're not the party police again. <laughs> no. I mean, obviously, there's no parties here. <laughs> With a lack of party police. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that citation later. Let's just go talk to this nice gentleman. He turns to you and says, Are you a god? No. Nice. <laughs> I've seen that. Always one. say yes. <laughs> yes. So he, he turns to you and says, "Good, you followed the clock watcher. Come, friend. I have a favor to ask of you." The clock watcher? You mean Ten Ten? He points to Ten Ten when he says "clock watcher," and clock watcher says "tick tock, tick tock." His vocabulary is a little lacking, I gotta say. <laughs> nice. Uh, you just do, have to pay attention I... to the inflection. <laughs> right, exactly. Do we know... Um, no, it makes him tick. What... Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, do we know what... I mean, either of these... Are either of these vert creatures uh, something we recognize from either GameCap Magazine or something? Whether it's me... Or not? I, I turn to the others and say, I, "I I've never seen these people before. I have no idea. Uh, what is I'll, is the I'll, TikTok bad?" I'll I'll let you make a roll. I'll, I'll let you guys roll for it uh, on a on a vert knowledge, unless you are uh, you have vertology or something like that. I I, I don't. I, I'd ask somebody who's better prepared. I have vert knowledge. Yeah, I mean, cool. Time for Blake. Yeah. <laughs> I got a three. <laughs> it's a guy with four arms. Yes. I got a 13. Okay. Got an 18. A guy with four arms ah. and a stick. I'm, I'll roll, but I don't have any specific knowledge. I rolled a five, so let's move on and keep going. Yeah. Okay. I don't have it. Okay. So, Chester, of all people, <laughs> knows what's happening. 
Perfect. Chester has heard of things like this. He's heard rumors of them. Uh, they're not bad. Uh, okay. He's heard of travelers that wander the vert and sometimes help people. Uh, okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't, since he's not really trained in vert and doesn't like feathers, I'm going to not give too much more information than that because he doesn't. Sure, sure. Um, this is like he's a guy so, so if he's stuff. telling us to <laughs> so if he's telling us to follow uh, at least yeah he, this thing isn't like known for like just eating people uh, or, or, or I don't know what but okay perfect yeah. or maybe what am so I saying who knows spreads, the dirt world he changes Whatever, his, it's, uh, blue, it's fine yeah changes staff to the other hand and he says I'm sorry to pull you out of that feather but I had urgent business to discuss with you my name is Chalpa. Gesundheit. That's a cool name. Wait, I'm going to write this down. Uh, nice to meet you, Chalpa. My name is... Ah! Oh, yeah, uh, they call me Blix. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea how to write that down, so I will not. Okay. Yes, you're, you, you can't find any paper or pencil in your fur bikini. Right. Uh, <laughs> you had a pen in your trackies before, but... I forgot about my social distancing staff. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Mr. Chow. There it is. Uh, what, what do you need help with? I'm the leader. See, I got the rapier. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. what your people call a gore set. Gesundheit. We travel the ways and wiles of the vert, helping those who need it. And right now, I need your help. Whoa, so it's like opposite day for you. Yes. Very much That'd so. That'd be very embarrassing. I have been to the opposite day, Feather. It was fun. Mm. I can't <laughs> nice. It it's the best kind of opposite day. So, uh, oh. what's, so what's in it for? I mean, never mind. Our letter, but our leader. <laughs> Our Ooh, grateful so, leader. What do, you, what do we? What do you need help with? We're we're helpful people. You have been searching for the Dreamweaver, known as Pathfinder. Mm. He is yes. known to me. He is a friend of the Vert. He is the one who created Clockwatcher and inserted him into this feather to try and contact me. When you go back to the feather, you may be in grave danger. There are certain elements among the vert who do not want your kind in the vert. They well, let's just want... leave then. I feel like we could just leave. Why like, can't we just leave? We could just Can't-y, fucking leave, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> We've got a quest. We've got a double quest. Yeah. They, they not only want you out, they want you dead. And they yeah. want everyone who ever oh. goes into the vert dead. Do they want us dead in the vert or outside of the vert? Does not matter to them. Oh, they're not picky. Huh. Dead in the vert <laughs> means food for them. Oh. Oh. Huh. So okay. not not a fan of how that's shaping up. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nor are we the Gorsetti. Which is why we came to uh -huh. the first council. I can, of course, offer you things for helping me. And he like things. flicks his fingers, and four yellow feathers appear from between the fingers of his hand. Ooh. And he flicks them again, and they go away. Oh, I clap. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. <laughs> oh, yeah? Watch this. So the problem is now that there isn't just the third Tlanir consortium, which is the vert creatures that want to kill real worlders. The problem is they have conspired with the Globus, what you call dodos in your world. Oh, no. oh the losers. Yeah. What, the birds? Nah, the ones who don't. The guys. Globus. The guys, the guys you aspire to, Chester. Yeah. Yes. Dreamless. Those who never vert, not just don't like it. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, the dreamless. They must hang out in a yeah, cold, gray can't. place. Those poor sons of bitches. <laughs> oh, those poor sons of bitches. They have infected the feather, and they want to distribute it in your world as a written uh, feather, but not as a blue. They want to distribute in your world as a death trap for any who would try and make fun of make a fun afternoon of the vert they wish to kill them right so like i know we need to stop this from being publicly publicly distributed but can we can we just keep like one copy or two copies because i got some people i could give it to well when you find the pathfinder he can give you the unedited version or he can give you the final version of it which does not have the taint of the Tuani or Consultium. Mm-hmm. That's the whole so, point. But... They kidnapped him to rewrite the feather to make it a death threat. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said that people that want to make a fun afternoon out of it, they're going to try to kill. What if the people that want to have a fun evening or a fun brunch? Or, like, is it just, is this very specific? Or is it just I do not know of this brunch you speak. Oh, it's the best <laughs> thing ever. It's like breakfast and lunch matched together. <laughs> And you can sleep in. You can have tea with it. Does that involve oh. champagne? Yeah, you can you can get pretty sloshed on it too. I yeah. have heard of this. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess we'll focus on what you guys call the important things. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the champagne, right? So yeah. So normally in this feather, there are creatures in what is called the Caverns of Chaos. They are blue. They are creatures pulled from different things and put into this feather. This feather has been infected. There are dark creatures of the vert, dark creatures of shadow living in this feather that kill anyone that comes into it. We need you to root them out. Now, there is a powerful one at the end, but we can help with that. And he produces this pendant that glows. It's a little yellow glowing crystal. And it's on a, it's on a lanyard, and he hands it to whoever's closest. Me, me, me. Because I'm the leader. Okay. He hands it to you. <laughs> Someday, I'm going to lead the whole vert. Yep. <laughs> Uh, it's like you'd be a queen. Uh. And he says, when your need is greatest, use this to bring us with you, and we will help. Cool. Pendant. Good. How do I know when it's greatest? Is there like a, a level here? Uh, when we're dying, oh. smoke. Yeah. When we're uh. dying, use the pendant. Like you know anything. <laughs> you might be onto something. It's like when you're there and you're on the, like this giant plateau and there's a thing trying to eat your face and all your fa- friends and like people who are supposed to help you are paralyzed and like it's just chewing up faces. Just yeah, that's when you pull it out. All nice. Right. That's very specific. I like it. Yeah, I, I take my but I'm shield. Letting it go. Yeah, oh, I take my well. shield and I raise it and I say, "Boomers, we have a a mission, uh, and uh, we have a reputation to uphold both here and in the real world. Uh, I'm counting on all of you. I think we can do it. Can we get a go, Boomers? <laughs> <laughs> eh, why not? Go, no. Boomers. <laughs> yeah, it's all right." You'll, you'll, you'll come around to it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Dougie's like super excited. Like, as the more dangerous it is, actually, the more exciting it is for him. So, uh, yeah. So Chalpa, Chalpa seems very happy, as happy as a half tree man who's kind of subdued can be. And he says, "I, I thank you for your help, my friend. Yeah, I could not enter into." the area where the greatest danger is directly. That is why I need you to help me sneak in there. 
That's what the four one. feathers, right? That's extra cool. Is this yeah. pendant reusable? Because like, that would be fun. Only once. It only calls us once. However, if you help us, you will have made a friend of Chalpa, and thus a friend of all the Gorsetti. Nice. So we travel the ways of the Vert quite often, and we're in the Vert, and we desperately need help. You just call out my name, and you know wherever I am, I'll come running. If you need uh, to see us again, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, Blue, that's... pink, or yellow. You just have to call a fellow, and I'll be there. <laughs> yes, I will. When you need a friend. Uh, and with that, I think we're going to wrap up uh, part one. Awesome. That's awesome. Session. That's awesome. That's rad. That's very cool. Come back. Thanks. Thanks next, for are we? We're doing next yes. week now. Uh, we uh, yeah, do you guys want to do every next other week? But yeah. this is an extra week, so we're getting mm -hmm. back on schedule by doing next week. Is that okay. cool, everybody? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. That? Don't yep. look too excited, right. Jack. Then we'll see you in <laughs> one week for the follow-up to this. Rad. Sorry, I was still in character. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer for everybody else. Jack's a really nice guy. <laughs> he really is. Let grumpy. me emphasize, yeah. Jack is fun at party. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Um, I, I do want to say one last thing again before we wrap. Uh, again, thank you uh, anybody who uh, watched. Uh, if anybody, um, as far as making donations, again, um, for... Uh, Isolacon or Isolacon or, you know, uh, Isolacon. you know, Isolacon. yes, um, yes. Uh, again, a wonderful, Isolacon. it's for wonderful, um, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, help me, uh, uh, speaker. RPG who, Creators yeah. Relief Fund. Yes, uh, yes. There's a link. There's a link uh, in the Twitch it, chat for anybody who is watching thank on you. Twitch right now. Say, uh, we'll make sure it's in the description on YouTube when the video goes onto YouTube. So. We, we figured out a way to make Alex tongue-tied by making him a player. So. Yeah, I know. Isn't that great? <laughs> Isn't that great? Because I don't have my notes. <laughs> no. Thanks for sitting through me DMing for the first time in a long time, too. No. You, 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 we killed it. Good job. I love it. Respect. And um, I don't know if yeah. you've been reading the chat, but they are super into your hair. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> rad, rad. Rad. Okay, all. Okay. Thank See y'all next week. Bye, Thank you, Pete. Thanks for coming out.